fucked up, dude. All right. This is episode, I believe it's 22. Nice. (laughs) So we got it wrong every other one beforehand. Well, that's my thing. I've been listening to the old episodes, and on Spotify, it'll say, like, episode 19, part one. And then we'll start it off by saying, welcome to episode 15. Right. So we just suck at math. Yeah. But that's okay. We're still nice people, or so you thought, until this episode. Right. Because it's a very special episode, isn't it, Phil? It sure (laughs) is. Uh, We, uh, today... We've been trying to do this for how long? <laughs> Fucking months, months yeah, and yeah. months. For months and months, we've been trying to have a roast, and uh, we'd like to call this the Ross roast. That's the first joke mm-hmm. right there. The Rost? Yeah, the Rost. And um, we, yeah, we've been trying to get people together, uh, the usual guests, and let's. Uh, I and, guess. And all we could get was Ross. Yeah, all we could get was Ross. Yeah, something people are flaky as hell. <laughs> yeah, oh. certain people yeah, who show I guess, me. I guess you're starting off, man. Yeah. All right. Let's. You want to <laughs> roast the people that couldn't be here? Well, you know, it's fifteen a, jokes. Fifteen jokes. Yep. It's and we're same, gonna count. It's the same old shit with this person. Every time I try to get the ghetto with these two fine gentlemen next to me, Aww. it's the same person can't make it. It's Mister Zach. And <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what he and. As maybe people don't know, um, I work at a grocery store. Work, I work weekends, so I lose money on, if I don't work on Saturdays. So if I find time to come out and take the day off to, to, to make a podcast, I don't see what his fucking excuse is about being lazy or don't want to do it. Ross, that was synced well. <laughs> that yeah, that was right? great. Uh, why are you so, so angry? I'm always like this. I, I got, I'm an angry Greek slash Italian. Well, it's a roast, so you're supposed to say because you're a pussy or something. I am far from. I am a pussy. Wait, wait. I, <laughs> no, that's not. How I, Who are we it, roasting? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I think we got off track. And, and we got we got Mr. Bill. Correct. <laughs> um. And All right. And a sound effect machine. All right. Is that it? Is that all you got? That's um, all you got. On Zach? I, I, 15 jokes per person. So what do you got? Who's your, who are you roasting next? Are you done with Zach? He thinks he's a, he thinks he's a, a ladies' man, but I think he, he, he's a, somewhat of a douchebag and has no game. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see him, I watch these episodes with him. He thinks he got, he, he's all that and a bag of shit, shitty chit, um, chips. Shitty chips? Yes. Shit are chips. you gonna are you gonna get sued by shitty chips? In yeah. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. I don't know why the, all right. the countdown went. Let's on. <laughs> let's put the sound effect machine away. All right, all right. It's a little distracting. Okay, okay. Um, so I'd like to do a quick shout out to our sponsor for this week's episode. It is in fact shit chips. Uh, you can find them at your local grocery store. They come in three flavors. None of them are any good. So check them out. Ross, uh, you were saying mean things about Sandry. Would you like to continue? Yeah. <laughs> Who does he think he is? Yeah. Still call me a fucking poser. And he and he called, uh, what was it, uh, do, uh, that one bad he said was better that I got real upset about? Blondie. No, Blondie's hot as hell. Uh, that one metal band that you like. Um, I Black Sabbath. Don't ever work. Knocked on Black Sabbath. So it was Black Sabbath? No. Was it? The Darkness. He said it was metal. Oh. And, and if you ever continue? Li- listen to The Darkness. They're it's, great. It, it's about the <laughs> whining, singing. Okay, I'm done with this. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, we'll edit it. I'm post. pulling a Kevin there, aren't yeah. I? Nah, we'll just, you know, when we listen through the episode, yes. we can edit in post-production. I think it might. Yes. As long as you don't have any music by the darkness. Ross, how do they sound again? <laughs> with some crappy solos. Who sounds like that when they sing? That's the darkness. Are you still on Zach? Yeah. Yes. Okay. But we just took a break to sing about the okay. darkness. Okay. So what else don't you like about Sandry, Ross? Yeah, La- last joke. He, he's a tight ass. All right. He's got a tight ass. That's, that's tight a and touchy. He has no fucking game. Fuck you, you flaky bitch. Would you say? Oh. That's, there's the 
There's the guy that's after me knocking on the door. Man. All right. Who else do you hate, Ross? <laughs> Sorry, that's someone calling me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, who else do you hate? Who else do you want to roast? Yeah. Joe Spanos? No, too easy. Uh, uh, Big Bully B, you got anything to say to me? Yeah. It's time to roast Bill. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't I, know. Bullshit, poser. Ross, this is today is a safe space. It's a Rost, which means it's dedicated to you, and you can say whatever the fuck you want. Right. This is the one day. This is the one day you can be an asshole and get away with it. That means a lot to me, especially. <laughs> and I'm going to do my best not I, to cry. I really get sick of when you call my sisters hot. <laughs> well, tell your sisters <laughs> to stop being so hot. And it's just ridiculous. We, the, we, you don't the, call. How is that supposed to offend Bill? Because the way out of right, the league, right. buddy. Is it your Whoa. turn, Bill? Uh, no. All right. I like that. Your sisters are out of my league. Yes. All right. Let's keep And keep they're going. very superficial. So they won't give you the time of day either. Oh, now you're roasting your sisters. Yes. <laughs> All right, they're superficial. What else are they? Think, uh, tens, but, solid well, tens. Well, Bill's duperficial. Oh. I, I couldn't even fucking explain was, it. Sorry, yeah. the CBD's kicking He's me. the only person that <laughs> I ever know that likes the zombies. The zo- no, wh- I like the zombies. Okay, they're not, now you... You were no, my joke. Now you're roasting me. All right. Ross, keep it going. You're on a roll. You know what? I think we got to invite these kids because that's, that's Gavin's friends knocking. I think we got to invite them as the crowd. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Come to the basement. <laughs> yeah, that's a bunch of 11 year olds. We are also sponsored by the new Michael Jackson documentary in the Confessions. Finding <laughs> Netherland. Is that what it's called? Yes. Oh, man. It, it was. You know, I've seen a lot of. All cool. right. Roast and Bill. Keep on topic, motherfucker. Yeah. Come on, Ross. You're too cocky. I don't know. I really don't have that much special. You don't know? Cocky or cock like? <laughs> oh, I gotta take a bill. A bill. Bill, Bill. Oh. Okay. Ross, you went too that- far. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great. All right. Let's move on to Phil. What do you have to say about Phil? Oh, Phil is going to be my favorite. Oh, All shit. All right. Here it comes, Phil. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, Mr. Phil, like I was trying to say audio, thinks he's Mr. Hot, good-looking guy. Back in the day when he when he uh, <laughs> when we worked at Jewel together, and he was um, hooking up. What I'll say, a bunch of five and six year old fix. <laughs> five or six. Five year or six year olds. <laughs> We're not supposed to talk about that department in Jewel. Okay. Right. Okay. No. They're, they're, it's my opinion. You're gonna get sued by them. Who will look looks point of view? They were about five or six, and back in the day, he felt, "Oh yeah, I I'm the shit. I'm fucking a bunch of girls at Jewel." And I said to myself, "I don't give a fucking ass ass. They they look uh, ugly to me, inside and out." Well, and well, maybe shit. have you thought about that? Maybe they we've got the ugliest five or six year olds at Jewel. Mm. They gotten better over the years. <laughs> over the years, so are they eight now. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a there were after actually at the time. <laughs> you remember Tracy? Dude, Phil remembers Tracy. Put that mic further down. Do you remember yeah. Tracy? Do you Tracy? remember Tracy? No. Well, she was about eight or nine, but about a one or two intelligent wise. Yeah, Tracy. Do you remember her now? What's the last name? It starts with M. Oh yeah, it's all coming back. Phil no, remembers. No. I don't want to know. Ross, bring it home. Her. What about Tracy? They said she was hot as hell, but she was dumb as shit. So now we're roasting Tracy? That Maybe that's my type. I think I better roast the other people than my friends. All right, well, let's keep All roasting right. other people. It, 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 it's like every time I, I've been working there, I work at f- these customers, and this is them. Oh, how you doing there, pal, buddy? Oh, talk to me like I'm some kind of like... It, some it, kind of what, Ross? Um, Retard. <gasps> And I'm getting... Ba- I'm triggered right now. I'm very going off on these customers. And when I'm doing cards, oh, can I take the first one when I bring a bunch of cards in? Because I'm too fucking lazy to, to, lazy to walk three feet to get another one. Yeah, and what do you want to do to them, Ross? Do you want to hurt That's them? what I want to do. And then and another thing. These customers are too stupid to realize where they put the hand baskets. They put it at the front of the of the wrestlers. You know what they do? They put it there. They put it there. They put it in my fucking feet. Those stupid Those fuckers. Those fucking customers. Yeah. All right, did what else did they do? Did you hand them out applications to their children to, you know, 
get added to that six-year-old department? <laughs> uh, what am I? We got to spice it up. That's how a roast works, right? We That's right. Retorts. Yep. Come is, on, it, is that the new R word? Retorts. Retorts. <laughs> It, it, it's what are you a, from Jersey? I've been, I've been doing this job for 10 years, and it's just so many things that I, I, I my mind's relation a little bit, so I can't think of everything. Sure. But it's so many things that what people do at grocery store are so stupid. Oh, yeah, I can remember something. Okay. I, I'm bagging. The first thing they tell, they, they tell the checker what the bag what to do. I'm the one that's fucking bagging. Tell yeah. me what to do. Yeah. All right. Instead of adding the sound effects, we need to laugh real hard. Bill, right? <laughs> 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 All right, next year. Oh, uh, we're having fun. Next? I don't All know right. if you ever had this problem working as it's people. Talk. It's like I am standing here. I have ears. Why do you have to tell the checker what to do? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got them good, uh, Ross. All right. Anyway. Yeah, that's enough. I'm just gonna. That's wait. enough. We're too pissed off, and and, I not, and now you got to tell us about how you since we only. I didn't. I didn't give the discri- disclaimer. We're only roasting the ones we love. One because it's easiest to roast the ones we love. I disagree. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's more harder on me because I. I All right. So you don't love the customers down d- deep inside? No, I hate them. No. Oh. Uh, well, some of them I like a lot. But so you don't love Phil and Bill? Oh, I love you. Oh. <laughs> All right. So now transition to. I want to hear one. Ross complain about customers some more. I, I, I okay. can't do it. Not with that attitude. Come on. And I don't want to. It's a buzzkill. You got to let that anger out. That's what we're here for. What would my fake-ass manager, Benny? Fuck you, Benny. Uh, What does your fake-ass manager do? He's a manager for them. Is he a poser? He's fake. He thinks he... Fake? That's all I can say. Okay. I need an example. I need a story. He claims he cares about his workers, but he's, he really doesn't give a shit about anybody but himself. He kills all his workers? Cares about. Oh. They they oh. let go of the manager that was killing all those people. Yeah. Well, how do you know? I mean, have, have you ever asked him if he cares about you? Like, you know, twiddle his hair or something? You're, Maybe give him a little him. wink. when you... No? And, and there's a person that, named Katie that makes losers money at, 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 at almost every day. Losers money? L- lose money. Oh. Like she doesn't get the money back. The the recent one that she uh let the customer leave and then added another auto to the, the previous auto and she's still would there. You, and, would you would you call her a Katie catastrophe? <laughs> 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 I, I know she's more stupid than her. And she's obsessed with Queen. Okay, they're a, they're a great band. They're a great band. Suddenly, right when they got when popular, finish, right? When, when we finish, she doesn't like Freddie Mercury Queen. He, she likes Adam. Oh, Adam Lambert? Queen. Huh. Interesting. Mm. That's weird. It is. And but she like, thinks she's all adorable and cute. But something she won't admit, he's gay. <laughs> 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 I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but she finds all these attracted gay guys. Though obviously, I do think they're attracted. Gay guys are attracted. Exactly. But they're gay. And, they're, and it's just, that's so stupid. And that it's bothers it's, you? Because she likes all, all every sports players she likes or teams is because she's attracted to them. Okay. She has no loyalty towards any team. If she likes finds somebody attracted, that's because teams always change. Aren't sports pretty dumb like that? Oh! <laughs> 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 I just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Can I ask you a question? What's up? Is Katie as attractive as your sisters? I'll give Katie a go. Oh, uh, man. I'll, Bill's starting off. I'll get Katie a one. All right. And what would you give your sisters? I can't answer that. That's just not Phil. All right. Well. Dude, it's not incest if you're using a condom. Shut the fuck up, Phil. That, <laughs> that's true. Was that in the Bible, I think? I think so, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, Have, Katie's haven't a you, one. Don't you celebrate Ass Wednesday? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I getting like that Some one. family member Ass yeah. Wednesday. Oh, well, but, by the way. I, I got I got a little argument almost with my coworkers because they were talking this, about. All right, well, this roast is now. W- w- Hang on, just, just just let Russ. All right, he's, talk he's feeling did you, it. Did you get your asses done? And I I pretty much said I don't want to hear about your about religion here. It offends me. She said it offends you. It's like yeah, not everybody believes in God. I didn't say that, but I wanted to. It's like why is I'm so, so confused. So wait, what did you say? 
after I said I didn't. Yeah. She walked away. Oh. <laughs> so what? This is what you're doing right now is what you would have yes. said or wanted to say yeah. or were well, thinking. Why the fuck does everybody think? Speaking of posers. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Russ, continue. It's like I, I, I hate religion more than anything. Because especially Christians, all they do is going around, I'm so good. Oh, if you don't believe in God, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> it was like and any person who is very intelligent <laughs> would, would think religion is a bunch of crap. Because it's physically impossible for somebody to be in the sky. The book, Bible was not being written. Well, that's what airplanes are for. That's right. Yep. All right, Ross, here's my question. You're talking about the Christians. I was under the impression that you hated the Jews most of all. Your hate, response. We, yeah, we, we, we know this. I am and not we a feel fucking it. Nazi. But, all right? I hate religion. All religions. It's just not one specific. Muslims, Jews, pe- what? Ca- ca- Pedophiles. Yep. Hate them all. It, um, Hindus. Mm-hmm. Those pussy... Ba- um, what's, what's those... Uh, I don't uh, know. Rubinos? No, it, 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 it's Asian. It's Asian. Uh, I don't know, like... Monks? Uh, Buddhists? Uh, Buddha. uh, fuck, especially those fucking Buddhists. Especially the Buddhists. Yeah, right? there's oh, the roast. Shit. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> 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 what a bunch of pussies. Oh, I'm all about lightning and peace. Yeah, fucking shaving their heads and walking yeah. around with orange bed sheets. What are you trying right? to prove and accomplish? Yeah. Right? I like this. We're we're tapping. It's easy in. to find yourself when you're fat as Buddha, right? Because you're all over the place. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know from experience because I'm Buddhist. Fuck you. And fat. <laughs> yeah, and fat. Yeah. All right. Do we move on to Bill? It's been 15 minutes. All right. Okay. Are you watching the clock? Does yeah, yeah. Does it ma- you're okay. It didn't feel like 15 yeah, 15 right. minutes. Yeah. All right. No? So is that a good? Is that a no, good time? Oh, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, all right. My turn. Uh, and we keep keep up the laughs. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm serious. All right. <laughs> it makes it better. <laughs> all right, yeah, tell oh, me that oh, after and, you listen and, to and that. Easier on editing. Uh, oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm going to start off my roast by roasting Zach Sandry. Sandry, you're a poser, and you think you're a ladies' man, and, and you've got this swagger, and what a- Don't look at me. No, what else did you say? I, I can't think of anything. Uh, you're a flaky bitch, and what else? You have a tight ass. Yeah, and you have a tight ass. All right, nice. Moving on to Ross. Ross? That's it? I don't know. I don't have shit to say about Sandry. Of course you uh, have oh, I, I thought 15 jokes each per... No? Oh, do, you, do you have more the, jokes oh, for me? Oh, yeah. For I'll, Ross? I'll, yeah, I'll even it out. I've got okay. Ross. I don't know. And then I'll start talking about how I hate the Jews and the Muslims and... And, and Kevin. Right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and everyone. So it'll just... It's like a freeform thing. It'll be fine. Um, Ross? A question for you. What? How can it be... That your sisters are so beautiful, and, I'm, and, I'm and so you're ugly. so ugly. Because I know I'm not deep inside, and fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you mean deep inside your sisters? <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 I'm not deep in, you know, I'm not deep inside like you are with your brother. Deep, oh. <laughs> 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 All right. So you work at a grocery store, right? Yeah. Poser. <laughs> Can I go yeah. for a high five? Yeah, there's well, you should look at a grocery store. That. Uh, oh, yeah, that's what used to. Poser. <laughs> uh, um, let's see. All right. Uh, um, uh, 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 it's not as easy as it is. Uh, improv master here. Yeah. Uh, uh, so. Um, it's a, is it starting to sound like a Beavis and Butt episode? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Just feel stirring. Uh, RJ, cool. what, what, is, what does that stand for? Um, uh, Ross, real, real jag. Ross, jack off. Okay, your joke was way better than mine. <laughs> I thought we're not supposed to say the R word these days. You know the Ross. Right Whatever. It's Ross, jack off. <laughs> 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 nice, perfect. Um, what else do I got? All right, yeah. You feel those burns? You gotta, you gotta go to the hospital to. Oh yeah. For all those deep cuts I'm I'm giving you. Yeah, that th- th- those are the worst, man. Um your taste in beer is bad. 
What do you got to say to that, Ross? I, 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 I that very hard to believe, which I pointed about just doing stouts. Says yeah. the guy with the 40 of Budweiser. It was the cheapest one today. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good unison there. Uh, yeah, that was good. Yeah, we felt All it. Right. All right. Ross, what else do I have for you? Um, you you don't have a metal vest, poser. No, I just <laughs> my, I miss a wizard, though. <laughs> <laughs> like the 311 song that you love? I have no idea. Come original. I wouldn't know. I never listened to 311. Because I'm not a, a pothead poser. Oh! <laughs> I thought you were a metalhead. 311 are as metal as it gets. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Them well. in the darkness? <laughs> All right, great. Okay, right. moving on. Moving on to Phil. me. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, shit. I need a cigarette for this hate over here. <laughs> Can I get, grab one? Yeah, sure. Or you got to op- oh, okay. open the pack, though. All right. Do I got to do the lucky thing? No. Fuck that. Um, all right. Who does the lucky thing? It's just stupid. Oh! <laughs> you're, you're lucky that you, you're going to get cancer someday? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm on a roll. That, Roz, you are really shining this episode. All right. Phil, our podcast is called Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing. You're Hear Nothing. I'm See Nothing. I wish one day you'll switch roles and become Say Nothing. Because you never shut the fuck up. (laughs) I don't know. That that hurts my feelings. Yeah, yeah. I got to start hanging out with Varg more because we have something (laughs) coming. Yeah, why don't you go work at a grocery store, poser? Uh, What the fuck? I didn't have money at the time. Okay, <laughs> the fuck. I th- there were five and six year old benefits. There. <laughs> That's, oh God, why is it our discussions always lead to pedophilia? <laughs> I know, right? That's, <laughs> that that really makes me fucking nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Again, another. Th- this is the place for uh, like like we're gonna make a new genre of just pedophile comedy on podcasts. Because yeah, right. we have we have deep inside Michael Jackson. And hey, hey, it might get popular. What's that, Michael Jackson? Right? right? Yeah, <laughs> we're just we're up with the trends. <laughs> That was great. Have you been practicing? <laughs> I just know how to do it. Dude, for someone who doesn't like the darkness, he did a great <laughs> darkness impression right there. Okay. <laughs> I have a lot more talent than you guys think I do. I doubt that. Oh! <laughs> 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 there, yeah, a claws are coming out. All right. Bill's being nasty. All right, I'm a horrible person. What else? All right, you're a horrible person. I won't shut the fuck up. Uh, you won't shut the fuck up. You uh, you think you're like Mr. Ladies Man. You think you're Quit so good looking. Me. Oh! <laughs> uh, what what else, Ross? I don't never understood why you think you always got to look like Jesus with your hair and your beard. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Why do you think you're the chosen one? Yeah, because you know why they say you got to spread a little love. You know, when they say you give every woman you love a facial. What do you think Ash Wednesday's for, huh? Whoa. I don't know. Uh, I don't. Yeah. What? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. That was. That was really. Yeah. I, I'm not putting these things together. That's fine. You know, you know they're my ashes because I'm Jesus. That's right. I was about to say, is, is, is I, I sperm on black. Is what? That, is that a racist joke? <laughs> 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 no, you said because you, you, you sponge. All right, Ross. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Great. You're a real ash hole. You know that, Phil. <laughs> God, this, oh, shit, this is realize. so horrible. It's good. <laughs> I just realized a lot of people we, who watch are, are Iris. Oh! <laughs> and how does it make you feel, Ross? How do you I feel about know, the I Irish? I think they're going to hate me anymore because I hate c- Catholics. Whoa. Oh. Sinead O'Connor is crying right now. Huh? Is she alive? I don't know. I, 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 I thought she got hit by a car bike riding across the U.S., but unfortunately, she's alive. Okay. I thought I heard something. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I don't know so, who you're talking about? Uh, um, you know, Sinead O'Connor. Yeah, Sailor O'Connor. She's Sinead. a bald. She's a bald chick who covers like every band for her hits, and got kicked off SNL for tearing up a picture of the Pope. And then Joe Pesci came out. He's like, "Frick, frick, that's some bullshit." You know. So I find that hilarious, but okay, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
That'll be on, on, on our next episode with me. So, else, doing the so same I'm thing. a horrible fucking, I'm not a ladies' man. I'm a poser who works at Jewel. That's right. I won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> you won't shut the fuck up. Uh, you're getting married to Kelly. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. And, it's, you know, typically, like, people give gifts at weddings, and I just don't think there's amount of money I can give to make this you know, worthwhile for Kelly. She's in for uh, a fun rest of her life. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, she might love that. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't yeah. Um, um, so would you say I'm marriage challenged? I don't know. I, 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 <laughs> no, what the fuck? <laughs> man, no, God I damn it. I say you a lot the head, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. So, not too hot to stubble. Oh. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't understand that one. This is great. This is good. Okay. This is okay. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna listen to this and just shake our heads. I know. I know. And well, okay. So are we moving along? That, hang on. No, I've got more hateful things okay. to say about you. All right. All right. Uh, um, you're uh, the least balanced, most hateful Buddhist I've ever met. Oh. <laughs> And uh, a pussy boot, right? Uh, the naturally. Boot that's fat. Yep, yep. And you're everywhere. And what else, Ross? You don't shut the fuck up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Because Buddhists do, right? Oh. Um, I, don't, I don't know. They, yeah, exactly. They don't. They just keep going, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like, shut the, say something else. No. I, I, is John a Buddhist? Because he never says anything. Oh. oh. oh I was going to say, oh. That was an elect. Oh, I like it, but I don't like you because uh, you remember Tracy? No, uh, Dick Tracy. No, Tracy. Uh, her last name began with the letter M. Tracy Lords, the porn star. That no, you know Jewel, and you thought you were all that, and and Ross, help. Don't put me in the middle of it. I can't do everything today. Uh, not with that attitude. Don't put you in the middle of it. I thought you're in the threesomes. With this ladies' man over here. Oh! Uh, you, you're going to have a stepson. Yep. And I don't know. How much more stepping I can do on him, huh? <laughs> I wasn't going to go there. <laughs> I, was gonna, I, don't know if, I don't know what's worse. Um, the relationship he doesn't have with his father or the relationship he will have with you. Oh, oh shit. That, and that's, yeah. I didn't know if I wanted to say that, but <laughs> all right. So this hurts my soul. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> I am starting to feel uh, bad. People do this uh, uh, like for a living. Most of the people is this not because it's healing, man. It's it's uh, it's uh, you know, I I don't know. Sometimes uh, you bottle shit up even with your best friends. No. Again, I just I, I rather do people I, well, I don't care about. You you don't care about us. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I should have brought more Especially beer. Especially since you're anti-Semitic, and we're even that one percent Jewish that we are. We got the we got the one percent Nazi over here. Oh! oh, I am German. All right, we, <laughs> all right. What I'm, else you got? I'm, what I'm, else you got? I'm bound out. I'm handing it off to you. Okay. That was probably around fifty all right. minutes. All right, I took this way too fucking seriously because. <laughs> Because this, right. oh my God! Let's hear it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be such an asshole. Can we add uh, your, your your brother, Robert? If you do, you're adding him. I'm not. I, I'm not supposed to. Oh, okay, forget that. It's not as loud. <laughs> All right. All right. Where do I start? All right, guys. Just a, just a reminder. We roast the ones we love. Oh God. And I took this way too seriously because you guys suck at roast. Oh. No, but um, let me see. What, 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 who do I start with? Whoever somebody you want. Call, somebody call it off. Okay. Sandry. Start okay. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Gotta get my nerd notes over here. Where do I got it? Oh, no yeah. notes. Ross and I are. Right, Sandry. Well, I guess we're moving on. Are, are we moving on to San or, uh, before Dude, we move Sandry, I was gonna say Ross and I are roast masters, and we didn't need to bring notes. Okay. Oh. Sh oh all right. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who's laughing? That's not a joke. <laughs> oh. I'm laughing at you. Anyway, anyways. Oh. Well, then, well, then I guess before I move on to Sandra, I'd like to say a quote that I read recently. Okay. I I just I don't know I thought I found this interesting it's a uh, it said um that asking people to reschedule and or being late is a narcissist way of centering all attention on them while sticking out in the back of your head on that note I'd like to move on to Zach 
Oh! oh! Wait, well, who said that quote? It was in a, it was in a Mayo Clinic psychology report. <laughs> I don't get it. Dead sex and narcissist. <laughs> no. Sure. Per, oh. I, I, I don't know. According to Mayo Clinic. I didn't yep. say it. I didn't hey, say Phil, it. stop smoking that cigarette like a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is, is that an offense? <laughs> Anyways. He got you good, Phil. We apologize, guys, because Zach couldn't make it. He notified us 20 minutes before that he is sick this morning. But uh, I mean, I I don't I don't feel bad bad because I have this app that predicts the future on my phone, and fortunately, he will feel completely fine, cured, energetic, and ready to go forward with his evening plans about a minute after the podcast. What's his evening plan? <laughs> Jacking off to a into a, a imaginary girlfriend. Oh! <laughs> I don't. No, I, th- I think he has a date. Yeah, the ruin a joke. I, All right. I, you know. Should I just keep going? Just, just keep going, and I'm going to ruin every one of them. <laughs> These are so bad. Okay. Well, <laughs> they're obviously not going to be as good as me or All Ross. Right. All right. All right. Uh, I've been watching a lot of Shark Tank lately, which has inspired me to open a business. <laughs> Zach and I are both epileptic and decided to open up a company that transports your furniture when you buy a new house. It's called Movers and Shakers. Ha! Huh. <laughs> we, we ended up lasting about a week because every day Zach would show up on site about two, mi- two seconds before the time in, he'd call off. And every step I would take, I was worried that I offended somebody. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I recently asked Zach if he wanted to go bow hunting. But then I realized asking Zach to go bow hunting is like trying to go on a blind date with a person from the dark ages or medieval times in history. There is absolutely no possible way for them to show up, and they are more concerned with looking good with it instead of actually using it. Oh! <laughs> uh, so you mentioned earlier that you had written some jokes. Yeah. I can't wait to hear them. Oh! <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> I never got close to Zach as much as Bill until I found out we were both epileptic. See, the thing is, Zach gets seizures any time of the day, and I only get them in my sleep. So whenever Zach plays his guitar and starts to get nervous, the trigger goes off for the both of us because I immediately start falling asleep. It's a shaky romance. (laughs) Let me see here. Zach, the last time I saw you perform guitar live, I think you smoked two joints and had five whiskeys and a beer. It literally really inspired me on how to deal with having to be the listener of your music. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh, that was that was <laughs> that was funny. That was a good one. <laughs> Another thing I really look up to musically is your unique and original choice of having Domino in front of your name. It made me want to play blues under the name maybe B G King or perhaps Chubby Chesser. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> Anyways, hey guys, how many Chicago folk singers does it take to change a light bulb? Three. Actually, four. One has to pick out the proper vintage 1930s looking light bulb to the urban folk setting. One to write the lyrics about tough times in the top three most prosperous cities in the country. One to Google things like cornfields, pastures along the creek, etc. One to trim the best urban folk mustache. And one to anxiously sing about these tough times of getting arthritis from changing the light bulb. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you know what's even more funny? That uh, Zach's mustache and glasses makes you look like uh, a worse version of a hipster. Oh! <laughs> Is my lighter and around? Yeah, right here. Uh, sorry, uh, right here. Let me see. Uh, I think I got the last one on Zach. <laughs> All right, so you know this past week I mentioned I've been super fucking stressed out planning out the invitations for the re- wedding, right? You know, yeah. Kelly, you guys? And uh, the reason why it was stressful is because we made the first invitation. We got it done. Everything is fucking printed and like saved. But then we had to make a separate one just for Zach as a guest because the whole thing had to be reformatted. You see, we had to look up Zach's private vitals so that he definitely would not be sick on that day. Heck, his incredibly busy and stressful schedule as his title of random Chicago stoner. And put the since what and, and put in the time as you know since it really starts at two, you know we needed to give like a four hour window and margin for him and put nine a.m. <laughs> and we also left a message on there. Please contact us directly if you would not be able to make it. You know since when Zach flicks out, he contacts his lawyer attorney Bill Schmidt to deliver the message and best friend. 
Yes. <laughs> Lawyer, attorney, and best friend. Yep. Is it his always friend? Yes. So uh, on, on that note, I can move on to. Uh, oh, I guess I guess I have one Zach and Kevin joke. <laughs> <laughs> Zach. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. Will you will you say it as if they're yes. here? Yeah. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Zach. You know, I've been watching Shark Tank recently, and there's <laughs> <laughs> another Shark Tank. <laughs> another Shark Tank. Yeah, I've been binging on it. I'm sorry, man. Is that a roast on me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so uh, you know they they said the food business is really difficult on there. So when I heard Kevin and Zach, those two are gonna put a put a business together, I was like, wow, this is this is for trouble. This is trouble. And and I guess they're gonna try and make a dessert. Weirdly, it was incredibly successful until they had to pick a name for the product. It was an ice cream with cereal in it, and they really wanted to put their name on it, you know, like Ben and Jerry's, or maybe something that represents them. I know they both don't like cats, but so far the closest they could come up with to compromise is Pussy Whipped Flakes. <laughs> <laughs> pussy Whipped! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so <All> right. alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who do, I, who do I move on to? Whoever you Bill, want. Bill, Ross? Follow move on to Ross? All right. That one too. Let that's, me see. Let's get it over with. All right. Let me see here. What, what do I got? I got to look through my notes because I'm such a good roaster. Yep. You want me to say all of them? You sure, Ross? No hard feelings? Do you have a shot of something? A shot of something? Yeah. Yeah. I got my, you know, gun upstairs. Oh! oh! <laughs> Did you call the suicide hotline and they let you have a go at it? Oh, <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let me see. All right, we, no, chug chug that fucking beer before. <laughs> I'm serious. I need a cigarette to look like a professional roaster. I'm sorry. This is getting me nervous because I feel half like I'm hurting people's feelings. <laughs> I'm serious. Dude, Anyways, let her rip. Whatever all right. you said in the past is not. All right, all right. Right. See, see the, over with. all right. All right, all right. Where's that lighter? Where's that lighter? Uh, or I'll use your cigarette. Here we go. Let me. Uh, all right. Hey, Bill. Hey, Ross. Thanks for, thanks for getting me secondhand you smoke today. You're yeah. welcome. And, and Phil this time. Thanks for your secondhand friendship. Oh! oh! <laughs> Anyways, so Ross, I've no, I got to say, we know each other for 10 years. Yeah. You hold a real special place in my heart. And what I mean by there is that is there's a place for normal people and then there's the special section for you. Oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> you know, the first time we hung out, I didn't think you'd make it to my house. I said, go right on Greenwood. Then go left on Oakton, and then straight up on Knight. And somehow you made it. You, you took a shortcut down Syndrome Avenue. Oh! How, how is that relevant when I don't drive? Oh! All right. All right. I know that. Up. I know that Ross comes. Yeah, 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 Ross. I know you, you and me both know you come from a really wealthy and yuppie family. I also know that yuppies are very fond of wine tasting and old cheese. Considering you're an alcoholic who never showers, they must love having you around. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> well, you know, I, I mean, what do you expect? Ross, I, I, you're going to tell me fuck you. Okay, let, let me tell you something about Ross. Ross hangs out with a guy who is missing three fingers and does a lot of cocaine. Ross calls him his best friend. I guess I can see why Ross's life is progressing in the right direction. Oh. Pointed at the right. Oh. 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 All right, let's see. Wait, I thought I was your best friend. <sighs> all right, is, all right. This is why I don't I'm going to I'm going gonna, I'm to keep it going. All right. This is why I, I don't use the fucking minutes. label best friend. People get hurt. Mm. All right. We sure do. <laughs> all right. All right. The last time I hung out with Ross, he chose n he almost got laid by a chick who was not only out of my league, but out of his universe as far as I'm concerned. His excuse was, I have Jewel the next day, and my mom would probably get mad, even at almost 40, parentheses. Did I tell you I was a psychic dreamer, Ross? Because I looked 10 to 15 years into your future and see a vision that your ball cancer came back, that it was terminal, and that you had two days to live. Your response to the doctor was, you, I, I, I'm gonna have to check with Jewel if that's okay. That, uh, the, the, I, I don't know if I can die on a Wednesday, and Wednesday is, <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and Wednesday is the day my mom gives me a wubba ducky bath. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ross approves. <laughs> Ross approves. Is that no? No. Oh is, 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 I'm sorry. Is Jesus. That, was that good? Yeah, it's just the smoke. It's fine. Go ahead. Uh, All right. Sorry, Ross. It's fine. So were you laughing or coughing smoke? A little, oh. a little of both. <laughs> okay. All right. 
Let's see what else. Ro- Ross always talked about how he missed his job at his old job. Ross talks about how he missed his old job at Paradise Pub where he flipped burgers. He's he, Paradise. Yep. He told me he was pissed off because he got replaced by a Mexican who takes less pay, and ultimately he hates him. I always forgot to ask you, though, Ross, were you ever in, you know, were you ever in the shape of a star? And do you know if the person who, you know, you know the Mexican guy, was his last name like in Spanish translates to square pants in English? Oh! oh! <laughs> I don't get it. Because he, he's Patrick Star. Oh, I, okay. <laughs> Got it. All right. Oh! <laughs> uh-huh. you, All right. Uh, Keep it going, Phil. All right. All right. This is the end. Ro- Ross, you know I have a bad memory. So when you told me, please tell me guys not to smoke, I'm really trying to quit a lot of my bad habits. Uh, the only part I remembered was the bad habits. So I'm like, guys, for this episode, please take a shower. Don't be racist. Don't smoke. Don't drink. Quit crying about Jewel. Start f- start fucking chicks and don't have excuses. <laughs> <laughs> I tried... I tried looking for a punchline for this joke, but uh, instead I'm just going to punch you in the face. Oh! <laughs> no, all right. <laughs> so I move on. Wait, I thought you said that was the end. No, I mean, I, I never did you. Oh. Oh, oh good. guy over there. Let me see. Oh, these are so fucking bad, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, all right. So, let's, so, no, let's, all right. I'm sorry. I, I, I uh, suck at stand-up, and I thought I was good at roasting, but yeah, I'll stick to the podcast. Well, no, dude, you're doing way better than Ross <laughs> and I did. <laughs> all right. I disagree. I think, <laughs> I, think, I think I had a lot of better uh, go-ahead. All right, all right. Let's get, let's get started with Bill. <laughs> these Okay. This, this one's for Kevin and Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you guys finally shaved that fucking beard because, you know, uh i know you guys both moved out and are going through a lot of shit but hold off on the midlife isis when you go on a date they say you shouldn't mention to the women that you got mo money but in your case i wouldn't mention mohammed (laughs) (laughs) all right (laughs) fuck you Uh, ross tell him (laughs) fuck you phil thank you ross oh i guess this is for all right here Bill had me see his stand-up a few times since I look up to him. Ironic, since he doesn't look up, down, or straight at anybody. <laughs> Anyways, the last time I saw something that cheesy and horrible was when I got a glance at Ross's underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what... <laughs> this is so dude, wingus. Just, no, dude, do All it. Right. Let me see. Uh, What do we got here? <laughs> God. Let's see. Um, uh, I did the let's see. Okay. Uh, I looked up Bill's Zodiac compatibility, uh, compatibility with me since he's a Libra. It said no matter what, he'll no matter what he'll always take a stranger's side over anything you say. I asked him what he thought of this. He said, M- "You didn't write that." Well, well, that's probably why it's true. It, I, I'm not getting involved. <laughs> is that true about the Libra thing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. Contrary. That does sound like me. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anyway, uh, let's see. Bill, you know, you're such a pacifist that usually they always say, but I, you, you always say, instead of ending the sentence with a period, you say, I don't want to get involved after everything. That's great advice, you know. Whether you're applying for a job or a loved one is getting butt raped or you're getting, you know, extorted by a mob guy. Hey, hey, man, the it's great uh you know i don't want to get involved that's 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 like your opinion man oh! <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> bill told me one time i know i'm an alcoholic but i have it under control which is really a great advice for me because i'm polish and my favorite quote is i know i'm dumb but smart enough to know i'm dumb oh! Oh! You were yes. you you we with our hour on this. Yeah. <laughs> that, no, you hit everything I thought you would like. Can't see, drinks too much. Bill, Bill is also a stand up comedian. This guy this guy is really, really good. Next show he's opening up for I don't even I can't even <laughs> read this. Anyways. <laughs> Big something up, come on. You can't read, read he, your own handwriting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't read your own handwriting. To be fair, I couldn't read it either. Oh, oh! Last time I hung out with Big Bully B, I put a large 
orange sign that says slow on top of his cane. I thought people would think you're wandering in Illinois construct in construction, but instead you ended up standing next to Ross. So the bully part really slipped out. <laughs> I want to fucking kill you. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I think this is. What the fuck? What else I got here? What the fuck? These are so bad. You want me to read them? If they're, if yeah, they're I do. Oh, my God. I asked Bill if he ever has anybody he idolizes or looks up to. He said, don't idolize anybody. That's fucking stupid. You should always be yourself. And that is really great advice coming from a red-haired Irish guy who has a horrible drink problem and an Irish cross tattoo. Very unique. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me see. What else? Oh, God. Where is this? God damn it. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. I can't, I can't read this shit. You're a poser. <laughs> Got him good, right, Ross? What the fuck? Ross agrees. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good, that was a horrible laugh. That, that like a, which, well, oh, oh, here we go. Show. Here we go. Bill's a ginger, so I wonder if he ever wants to kill himself when people ask him, "Do the drape do, do the drapes match the carpet?" And after seeing the Cheeto dust, the beer drips, and the Coke dust, I want to kill myself now. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh get it. Uh, he's saying I'm a slob. <laughs> <laughs> this is so. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? All right, I think that's all right. So I'm gonna end off that roast with saying, "Where's?" Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not saying anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking being silent. Yeah. Come on, bring it home, Phil. We need you. And you make fun of Ross oh, for being oh, oh, slow. Here, here we go. All right, this one's. A, one of, I, I asked Bill to give me one of his one-liner. <laughs> I asked Bill to give me one of his one-liner jokes, or like tell me one of them. And I remember him telling me it was, uh, you know, when life gives you lemons, you make a lemonade. But when life doesn't give you lemons, do you want me to tell you, the joke? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> Last year, my parents planted a lemon tree in the backyard, and this year it dies. Which begged the question, what do you make when life doesn't give you lemons? Is the joke. What? They planted a lemon tree and it died. Firewood. There you go. Yeah, that was it? Yep. I thought I thought you wanted well, me to have you answer that. Well, considering anyway. the fact that I've heard that joke, when you know, and considering Bill does that act with his acoustic guitar, I guess the lemon tree gives you... A list of horrible fucking one-liners. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't do, does lemon either be in warm climate to survive? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, Ross. <laughs> all right. Well, honestly, we all love each other. Yep. That's right. Say, you guys, to end off this roast, we only roast the ones we love. Ross, I've known you for over 10 years, okay? Yeah. We've been through some really hilarious shit. I don't know how we're both not in jail <laughs> or, 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 you know, dead. And I don't know how your parents don't, like, fucking call the police every time I come over. But <laughs> we're, 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 good, we're good guys. And Bill, same thing. You know, at any time I've gone through some shit, I'm, cr I'm cr cracking up here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a smoke. You're, you're it, it killing smoke. Ross. <laughs> no. no, no, every every time. Seriously, honestly, you're the best fucking person to talk to. L literally. Yeah, I, I mean, it's I, I've gotten the best uh, out of out of all the shit that people go through. You know what I'm saying? Bill goes through as much shit as you, you know the shit that people go through our age. They're living with their fucking parents. They don't know what the fuck to do with their lives. Bill goes through as much shit, if not more, and is the most stable fucking person that I've ever known. 
So thank you guys. I love the both of you. Yeah, we love you. I love you too, Phil. We love you, Phil. You s- don't right. touch me. <laughs> Notice that we don't say love you to Kevin or Zach or, <laughs> or, or, or the Jewel <laughs> customers. Right. Yeah. No. Fuck them. <laughs> fuck the Jewel customers. Yeah. Most. We hate them. All right. We'll do a roast of all the Jewel customers. I don't. I, I don't want to. I already did. <sighs> all right. We'll do it again. We'll write. More we, proper uh, jokes. Are, are we moving on to the podcast, or are we taking a break? Uh, let's take a quick break. We'll come back. That was our first roast. Thank you, everyone out there, for <laughs> enduring. <laughs> we uh, gotta have more people here. Three people is just not fun. Whoa, uh, we're not fun. No, we need Max like Weinberg on those drums. <laughs> maybe, maybe later on, if I'm drunk enough, you gotta see me on the drums. All right. Uh, I'm not. I'm. I'm letting the cops know there's a restraining order <laughs> you on you and my drums. Uh, <laughs> all right, stay tuned, everyone out there in Radio Land. We will be back. Don't watch this roast. Get <laughs> <laughs> fucked up, dude. And welcome back to whatever episode of yeah. Hear Nothing, episode See Nothing. 22. Part 22. 22. We just got done with a roast that pretty much roasted us with our fucking roasting skills. It's fine. Uh, definite room for improvement, but progress, not perfection. Yeah, yeah I, I want to let people know I really did that because be like the only th- the first thing that ever got me into trying to do stand up, keyword trying, <laughs> was <laughs> what was Jeff Ross. I really love Jeff Ross. He's like my number one favorite comedian, and I think before him, and I didn't even know it. Because I didn't know his name. I'm just like, oh, that ugly fucking old man, Don Rickles. <laughs> oh, sure. Are I you a Don Rickles fan? I love Don Rickles, man. Do, do you like him? <laughs> the, I listened to like one of his sets, and I was like, eh, I'm okay with Don Rickles. I, You know, with YouTube these days, I watch like a best of compilation mm-hmm. where he's just like, he's pretty much roasting the fuck out of everybody on like whatever show he's on, you mm-hmm. know? and it's hilarious. Uh, maybe I caught a wrong set. He was just like, you haven't noticed how Polish people walk this way, yeah. and and if you're not Polish, you you walk this way. It's like I, I guess it probably didn't translate well to audio. Yeah. But, <laughs> but anyway, you're doing great. It was a fine roast, and I think Ross really stood out. Ross, do you feel good about your comedy, your your roasting abilities? Yes. Good. I'm glad. What are you eating, Ross? Vodka chocolate. Vodka chocolates. Good. 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 I just uh, got a juicy one. A juicy vodka chocolate. All right. So I w- w- I was going to announce this before, but, uh, well, not a, really an announcement, but I wanted to know some feedback from you guys. We got three people here so we can really vote. Yeah. Do you think, I think on future episodes, we should have a steady would you rather section or a roast section? Considering we fucking sucked at roasting. Sure, yeah. I'm leaning would, towards... Would, would you rather? I vote would you rather. Uh, I would rather do would you rather. What about you, Ross? Yeah. All right. So can I start off with some would you rather? Yeah. Let's the first one is, would you rather listen to Ross's voice or look at his face? Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I thought we were done roasting. Uh, all right, all right. No, no. I, you just I, have all this anger you want to no, get sorry. out. No, no. I, I, I had to... Uh, I, I had to questions that i had like in all seriousness all i right. had uh what two movies and or songs yeah what two movies and songs have made you guys cry the most ross Nothing. take it away <laughs> two two movies click, <laughs> click? <laughs> the adam you, sandler movie you got to keep that mic close click the adam sandler movie at the end when he dies you just pull it close to you when you're sitting yeah click, click. so click yep when he died, I, I don't think I've ever seen it. Is, is it is it like, it's half comedy though and dra- uh, drama, correct? Well, that's where he gets the magic remote control. And yeah. But he fast forwards too long. Uh. That, that That's all I know is the remote control part. Do- and I've never seen it. Are you going to plan to see it? No, spoil it. Um, at the end, he, he ended up dying from cancer. At oh. the end, everyone dies. So what So what other second one? Titanic? No. I, I, I don't... I can't think any of the top of my Finding head. Nemo? No. Oh, dude. That movie gets me. I can't. What, what, what do you think? Or, or what two songs, Ross? Uh, you're going to rip on me about this? It's, it is a slip not, two Slipknot songs. All right. Okay. So. Those made you cry the most? Two Slipknot? The videos. The music videos. All right. What songs are they? Snuff. How does that go? 
Bury all your secrets in my mind. Okay. And what what's the music Did it video make you like? Cry because of how bad Slipknot is. Shut the fuck up, Phil. Okay. And the Lemurian Part Two. Okay. And how does that one go? You, I forgot the lyrics actually at the top of my head. Can you hum it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what are the music videos like? What was so powerful about them? Depressing and sad. I'm sorry I ripped. I am trying to be serious here, in all seriousness. I am. So, uh, what about you, Bill? Two. Or do you want me to go? Uh, no, 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 I'll go. Two, two movies, uh, two songs. Two movies, two songs. Uh, like Ross, only one movie is really coming to mind, and it's La Vita e Bella. Life is Beautiful. Have you ever seen it? Is it called La Vita Bella? Or no, La Vita e Bella. It's an no, Italian film. I've never heard of it, no. Um, and it's translated to Life is Beautiful. It's... Um, I don't know, like this really happy-go-lucky Italian dude is seducing this woman, and she owns a bookstore, and they're all happy, and they have a kid, and then Hitler comes and ruins everything for them, so off mm. they go. What? Mm. How old is it? Oh, God. Uh, 80s, 90s? Mm. I don't know. Okay. So, older, I guess. I just read my book. Cinema's List always gets me clean. All right, yeah. All right, there's your second Schindler's movie. Cinema's List. Yes. Um, so that's the only movie that comes to mind. It's such a good fucking movie. Yeah. If you've never seen it, which it sounds like you haven't, I really recommend it. And I'm not a big movie guy, so yeah. I feel like my recommendations carry some weight. Um, songs. Songs that make me cry. Um, uh, all right. Bob Dylan songs. Uh, Don't Think Twice. It's All Right. And abandoned love. Okay, you is it my turn? <laughs> yeah, dude. No. <laughs> yeah. No, no. I didn't know. I don't yeah. know if you were no, dude, gonna uh, explain why. No, nope, they're is, just they're, there's no explanation why they're they're beautiful and they're sad and um. It, it, no special connection. No, they're just like breakup songs. And it's like, all right, yeah. I don't know. I relied on them heavily mm. when you know I need that sort of emotional support. Yeah. I have to be in a mood to listen to them, but they're really good songs. Yeah. And they get me. Now, your two movies and your two songs. Two movies, probably Shawshank Redemption. Really? What part? (laughs) The whole movie. I think it's just, I don't know if it's tears of, it's a little bit tears of happiness and tears of depression. Okay. Just because somebody getting, you know, somebody pretty much getting fucked by bad luck and really trying still keeping their head up and above water throughout the whole process and, and you know, learning a little bit about life through that and sure. kind of being rewarded. You know, it's like a long story of, I guess, a happy karma. I, I don't know. Redemption? Yeah, redemption. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, you, you guys are going to rip on me for this. I, I, I don't Balto. even know. I don't know if I was depressed during this time, but it doesn't seem like me at all. Space Jam. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Brokeback Mountain. I've never like, seen it. Yeah, I know what it's about, but I've never seen it. Yeah, what is it about? You don't know what it's about, Bill? No. Are you serious? What Brokeback Mountain? It's like two cowboys, right? They go camping, and they fall in love. Yeah, yeah. No, it's like yeah, it's I like know two. What it's about. Yeah, it's like two. It. It's like two uh, farmer. Uh, well, well, it's like two dudes in like r- a rural area. So you know, there's not a lot of human contact. People don't really know about urban. Sh- y- y- you know. How I've mentioned before, like New York City, Chicago, L.A., there's kind of like this, like we're like one of the biggest influences for like social causes. So a lot of places in rural places are really like behind on shit as far as like acceptance of, you know, something like being gay. And these dudes like kind of just spontaneously find out they're gay then don't see each other for a long time because they're ashamed of the trip. Mm-hmm. And then and then like when they see each other again. They just like break down, and 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 and, and then uh, as soon as they get ba- back together again after a long time, like one of them ends up dying, ah, from from AIDS, and it's like uh, I don't know. It's I'm a really I, I I I my whole life I can say, the compass for me is love. It, that, that's that's what I see in my family and my family now, not my old family. Sure, <laughs> sure, and, and and everything and music. And, yeah, that's my. I don't know. So those two movies, I don't okay. know. Songs yep. uh, that make you most cry. 
Slipknot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please turn this off. You haven't no. heard these songs, so you wouldn't know. No. no uh, uh, maybe. Um, I forgot what the name is. It's a, it's a song by Joy Division. Dead Souls. By Joy Division and covered by Nine Inch Nails. It's um. It. He keeps saying they keep calling me. They keep calling me, and I think it's. Uh, I watched a documentary on the singer, and he had horrible, horrible epilepsy, which is also why he killed himself. And because of like the mood swings and everything, and not being epilepsy alone gives you horrible, horrible, horrible fucking dreams. And that's what he said by. That's what he meant by they keep calling me. Like he like he can't like function because it's like going through a, you know, you go into Vietnam Tuesday, but then Wednesday you're having normal life, but then what you know Thursday it's back again. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I think that it it was hard to see him li- <laughs> see him live. The Peter Hook and the Light. Mm. Did you know um that song She's Lost Control? No. You never heard that? It's like she's lost control again. I don't think so. No. Oh, that's like right next to uh, Love Will Tear Us Apart. Is that song number two? No, no. I'm saying like they're, they're like the two hits by them, but mm. I won't get in. Um, song two. Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> no. Like That's another one. Please turn this off. <laughs> I, can't. I don't know. Um, I think this is a good section, no? Getting to know us better? I think so. Uh, no, I. You're uh, stalling. What's your second song? I'm trying to think. Maybe. How much? How many seconds do I got? Are you counting off? Take your time. Ross is very quietly singing Bohemian Rhapsody to my left. I don't know if the mic is catching it. That's but that's gonna make me cry right now. It's yeah. No, I'm um, fighting back the tears. Fuck, man. I don't know. Maybe something by maybe maybe something by Radiohead. Okay. I don't know. Creep. No. Oh, um. Let me. Th- what was it? I don't know if it's how to disappear completely or uh, high and dry. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I don't remember. I, 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 I don't even listen to it anymore because it's sure. so depressing. Yeah. You know, it just brings me back to that. Uh, so, yeah. What, 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 oh, move on to the next question. Yeah. Wait. Wor- worst. What? That wasn't really like a would you rather question. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, well, no, I guess the getting to know you. Okay, sure. All right, icebreakers. Right? Icebreakers. All right, what's question number two? So this one will be best to answer for Ross. Worst uh, worst sexual experience? Nothing. No answer? No answer. <laughs> no, come on. Actually, worst, I do. I do. Worst sexual, okay. Wow, this is going to be a fucking mouthful. I was at a oh! Oh! <laughs> I like it. I'm having a worse sexual experience right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was at a bathroom party. Nice. Yeah. And somehow the some of the other guys paid for me with two strippers to put a dodo in my mouth and um dodo fuck I'm doing this. Flipping your head back and forth with dodo a dildo in your, in your mouth. Dodo. That's the one sexual experience we had with guys putting a dildo in your mouth. No. With two girls on each side. That doesn't oh. sound that bad. Oh, while they're fucking the dildo. Yes. Oh, I see. I thought they just like, yo, Ross, put this dildo in your mouth. <laughs> no. I didn't. I didn't follow. Sorry. I had a dildo. <laughs> that sounds like a good time. When, at a I mean, unless if it was me right now, I'd be like, oh, no, I have sensitive teeth. I gotta right. see the dentist yeah. in two months. It was embarrassing because everybody else was watching and laughing at me. I didn't like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. It was embarrassing. Who wouldn't laugh at that? I mean. You know what would be good is if you're like 90 and all your teeth are missing because that fucking, those mashing gums would really lube, lube it up, you know? <laughs> the funny thing is I, I was missing 11, 11 teeth at the time. Okay. I, I was biting it down on my front teeth. Oh. That well, sounds so, pretty romantic. Yeah, right? What about, what about you, Bill? Worst sexual experience? My worst sexual experience. Uh, hmm... I uh, I think I think. Do, do you feel the same way? It's hard to define worst, like as in bad or disgusting. Sure. Um, so you tell me what what we should define. Oh, I don't know. So, wor- 
worst sexual experience. Well, we, which what should we go by is worst? Oh, I don't know. Um, B- Bill's I, pick. Bill's pick. Most disgusting, and what was the other option? I don't know. Uh, maybe. <laughs> uh, just. It was like bad. Yeah, just bad. <laughs> bad sex. I don't know. Um. All right, so I'll go with, like, I guess the most disgusting. I don't even know if this is disgusting, but uh, I've eaten out a butthole. Yeah. That I think just on paper, sing it out loud, like that's kind of gross. Did but you did, did you get any uh any 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 diarrhea in the mouth? That, I, no, no. I honestly, I was uh, I had consumed a bit of alcohol, so I couldn't yeah. even like taste anything, but. I think uh, wind job is a very natural thing nowadays, though. Is it? It, it is. Is it? All right. Well, I, I've let's just say I've gotten used to it. Sure. But, but there's some rules, you know, like all right, honey, take a shit first, you know. Sure. Right. Yeah. So it's so. no different, in my opinion, than doing anal. It's the stuff you using your tongue. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like the tongue makes all the difference because yeah, you know, yeah. like taste buds and things. Yeah. Um, Keep it clean. That's all I have to say. That it's so hard to keep your tongue clean. That's right. Though. That's your message from Ross, kids. Keep your butthole clean. That's right. Because Ross is coming for you. Oh, yeah. Always got to <laughs> with those. Sh- uh, I'll, like, I don't know, like, okay, so menstrual disgu- sex? Is so, that, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, can, I, I, can't, I can't do that. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can, Phil. C- Kathleen fucking her behind. With what? The, <laughs> you said you How were, do you know about this? You told me. What, are you peeking in the fucking window? You told me. I don't remember this then. You told me that when you were dating Kathleen, when you were fucking her behind, she uh, had. Uh, yeah, she had toilet paper. Yes, you told me that. I would yeah, that I don't know if that's worse. Well, should I mention that story all over again now? I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. But uh, I thought that would be top five. No, I no, mean. That was a close all right, out. Phil. Let's hear your worst. Worst? I'm trying to think. I thought worst was. So. When I hadn't gotten laid in a really long time, oh, like this is like the third chick I was going to f- fuck ever in my life. I was hanging out with Carlos and White Boy, you know? Mm-hmm. And I told him, I'm like, dude, please, you guys like own a slut factory. Please hire me, you know? <laughs> like, and they knew a bunch of, you know, it was like Jersey Shore was really popular at the time. So there were all these, all these like Italian broads who were like trying trying to be fucking snooky you know Mm -hmm. and they knew this chick diana who it was seriously like it was it felt weird now that i think about it now because it was like a fucking prostitute because she just came over strictly to fuck all right i'm getting out of here you know and no but but uh, no i remember i was like finishing a paper for like she called me she's like all right i'm here i'm like okay well where are we gonna go eat and i'm just like trying to save my work that I was working on for school Mm -hmm. and then like, oh shit, I got to look up a place to go eat. I got to think of like a movie we're going to watch. And instead she comes in. I'm like, all right, uh, I got to, I got to save this real quick. Well, well, like I'll, um, we'll, we'll we'll do something in a little bit. Just let me finish this first. And as soon as I save, I just look over and there's this huge fucking camel toe in the air. Just, just in position, has all her clothes off. And I'm like, wait, that's not camel toe then. Oh, then what Cam- is it? Camel toe is when. So what is it? What, what is it when she's naked? You saw her vagina. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but it, but it was, dude, it was fucking huge because she's a huge girl, <laughs> and and she, and, 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 anyways, it. I was I was just like instant fucking Beavis and Butthead boner. Nice, you know, and I think I fucked for like. I come in like two minutes. Nice, and that was probably a very bad sexual experience because I was just like. Jesus Christ, I feel like a virgin. You know? Sure. I don't know. That was probably worst. I mean, disgusting yeah, But to not me. disgusting. No, no. Why? You want me to mention the dis- yeah, disgusting? Yeah, I thought yeah, we disgusting agreed, yeah. Those, in yeah. my opinion. Uh, disgusting. Um, I don't know. I can't, I can't think of disgusting. Well, I mean, like, there was this chick I dated on <laughs> okay, Cupid, mm-hmm. who was a fucking freak and i remember she hated when i i love eating out mm-hmm. and she finally let me eat her out and then i ate her out and i'm like this is really weird cuz this is really sour 
because it was like having an airhead. Mm. And then like a week later, because that was the first time I had sex without a condom too, because she want, she's like, I'll let you eat me out if you fuck me with no condom. And then I ended mm. up getting a UTI. I'm like, oh. Okay. So I guess that's yeah. disgusting. Yeah. I mean, unless the bummer. toilet, you said you not to I mention that. I don't understand what you did. You said, you said not to mention, she had like a yeast infection or something. I, no, um, but it, no, but you said not to mention the toilet paper story because that was pretty disgusting that, to me. That that was the most disgusting. That was the most. Uh, control was the least. I don't know. <laughs> Why would you put yourself at risk like that? See, these are the fucking things I don't understand. I don't. I'm not like that. Like, but you put yourself at risk, help and probably a fucking chick. Is it worth getting laid over? Well, it feels good. It feels yeah, good. it you does. Know? Especially the older you get. Well, I'm 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 gonna say I don't ha- I had probably a sex job at 80 years old, but I I do not want to die from a version. But you in that case, you're not helping my. Father. I should have mentioned the toilet paper story. No, uh, no yeah, I okay. wouldn't. No, you know, I'm trying to say you're not helping my situation at all. Right. Uh, just, That's just fucking gross, man. That's almost as bad as you saying you you felt like going on a period. That is the worst I can think of. Really? Mm, oh, doing anal coming out when. Poop stains. Uh, Ross, you're so repressed. What, what if you wear like a you know clothespin on your nose? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, no, I'm serious. What do you mean I'm repressed? You're so repressed. I don't repressed. know that. Uh, don't don't tell him. All right. Well, he won't let him know. No, yeah, it'll be yeah. our secret. You know, I can I can always look on you on Wikipedia what that repress means. Oh, yeah, we'll man. come back to it. <laughs> yeah. So, so okay. what are we moving at? Uh, so good. No, we're getting to know each other. It's been a while since Ross has been on the show, so I'd kind of like a general RJ update. Ross, what have you yeah. been up to? What's new? Well, uh, uh, when did I come? In December, was it? Uh, I think, it was I think around New Year's. You got to talk to the mic. Um, it w- I'm like, a, maybe I said it last. I'm going to be your uncle. Uncle uh, RJ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uncle oh. Ross. Yeah, uh, it's going to be RJ. Uncle Dino. And I'm, <laughs> you know, it's my twin sister. Yeah. So I'm, you know. This is probably the biggest deal. You know, I have four, three other sisters. Are you ever going to put a, since she's your twin, are you ever going to put like a wig on and try and take the kid? No, but Ooh. my brother-in-law um, awfully jokes around that we, they can't, he can't tell us apart. One of these days, I'll love you guys. I need, I need another hit to deal with these jokes but, over here. No, dude, they're I mean, good. They're good. One of these days, I'll love you guys to meet Sean. He's a fucking chaos. Is he the one where they went to the fighting in the brewery, wherever it was? No, that, was that was Natalie. My oldest is doing Got you. You've got such a big family, Ross. Where's that lighter, Bill? Probably in my pocket. And no, so no other updates, Rubino. Um, I'm going to my cousin's uh, wedding on April 5th. Nice. Yeah. Where are they getting married? I don't have all the details as usual. Okay. Do we like this cousin? Do we like the right, see, spouse? Her name, her name is Susie. Okay, Susie. She's like fifth, fifth sister to me. Okay. Um, I love our f- fiance. His name is Tim. Susie and Tim getting hitched. But um, recently something happened to Tim. He oh. he left his um pendant. Okay, Tenet. that's a bummer. Is he like an athlete or? He was. He he actually was in the. He was a pitcher in the amateur, in the Yankee system. Okay. So I I I don't know all the details. I actually gonna go out to dinner. With Susie's, with my aunt and uncle, Susie's um, parents, mm-hmm. to their uh, son, who is Susie, uh, Su- Joey's restaurant. You know what I'm trying to say? Joey's restaurant. Uh, aunt Patty and Uncle Jim. Yeah. I'm out to dinner. Okay. Joey's restaurant versus Joey is Susie's brother. Got you. Twin brother, I should say. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of twins in your family. Yeah. So I, I'll probably get more of the details them all. Well, I'm thinking that this might be an old injury from... When he was pitching, mm-hmm. but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> okay. You want it over here? Light? It might be still it. I don't know. Well. <laughs> what is exactly between a tear and a rupture something? I don't Tear and a rupture? Yeah. So shall we use your butthole, for example? I can demonstrate. No, just do it on a muscle. Like, like a team. Just do it on a muscle. Oh, um, I don't see. know. No, I don't know. I think rupture has to do with your blood vessels. And, and Tara is like, you, you know, ripping through, like stretching your muscle too hard. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, well, I'm going to find out tomorrow because I'm, I'm a little worried if, if it's serious and they're getting married on April 5th. How the hell is he going to stand, you know, at the auto like that? By having know? a pimp cane like Bill. That's right. 
He, love conquers all, Ross. It'll be fine. I know. I'm just, I, you know, you can tell I'm a little concerned. Why would you be concerned? It'll yeah, be that fine. was that was you know what that was my dentist's recently this cunt dentist pitch for my for for having me come again is I I can guarantee you your teeth are still going to be in enough for your wedding for, for three <laughs> months yeah uh, yeah that's good that's I was like I guarantee your teeth aren't going to be out for two more seconds <laughs> fucking cunt that, I asked I, I asked bet, her I bet you like that yeah no I asked her I, it, it wouldn't work she had braces so you have to. Mm. Do a little chiseling off each one. This like everything. <laughs> there's good doctors and bad doctors. And this sounds like you may have a, like a problem, but do I think you're going to lose? I got problems, huh? Well, I got problems. With your team. I think Wait. you're going to have a problem. Tell me I got a problem. Come on, Phil. I'm being serious. I doubt you're going to lose. You may lose. I know. I know. I'm not. Nothing's going to happen. They're yeah. full of shit. And they're. they're just she's fucking money. telling me to purchase some like $200 toothbrush. Yes. Because because the regular one, she's like, you need to get an Oral-B one because the regular batteries, they only do 10,000 rotations at once. And the Oral-B ones, the ones that you recharge, have full power all the time. My and they God. do 31,000 rotations. I'm like, bitch, I just have, I, you, you know what I have? Who's elected to put? Yeah, I have a, the, and the only reason why is because I saw Gavin's and I got jealous. <laughs> so that's <laughs> how I, I that's how we tell us apart that he has the minion one and I have the Super Mario one. Nice. Alexa Tupac doesn't help a more, but do you need what the, exactly the ones he's saying no. But or No. It, or it be, I'm it, definitely getting a water wick though cuz I hate using fucking d- dental floss. I, I you know the little, the little You know, little you know stick one with the floss? Yeah, I don't like that. that. I, that's what I use. I, I use can't I don't like that, man. There's like one I like to use my dad recommended to me it's the water one, floss one too. You don't want to be hardcore and use piano wire? Oh, you're such a pain in the ass. Dude, I'm actually worried. Of, have you? What's the longest you spend? Mike! Oh. Talking to the mic. Bill. Ross. What's the longest you ever spend time with with, uh, with Phil? Like, you're going to Amsterdam, right? Yeah, we're, we're going to kill each other. The, long, the, the longest me and Bill spent, pro- what was it, four days? And we almost wanted to. Uh, you're no. really yeah, when uh, we were snowed in with Greg. I, that was like three days. <laughs> yeah. I think it was fine. We had Hook and Peter Pan. <laughs> you guys going for a week, you said? Uh, five nights. Are you prepared? But you're in another country. That's the thing. I don't think it's. I think we'll it'll be, be fine. We're good buddies. Yeah. We're we'll going to be roasting each other the whole time. That's right. And if tensions get high, it's like. You smoke weed. That will <laughs> smoke weed and like leave me at a bar and pick me up in the evening, you know. <laughs> you Separation. Any, like research on the laws and all this it shit. Or, like, yeah, we already talked. Yeah, we talked. So well, we're, you were ta- okay. So I, w- I wanted to transition about how you were talking about health, right? Yeah. You know what's fucking crazy that I re- recently realized, and I highly recommend this for anybody listening because this is such a fucking like. I I I don't know what word is I'm looking for. I, it's, um, Revolution insight. No, such a uh, catastrophe. A great remedy. That's the okay. word I'm looking for. It's a remedy for. I I always mention how I have problems with my throat. I get strep throat every year. I remember last year we talked about how I use the fucking fish amoxicillin. Mm. You know. Yeah. And dude, I I I I have this. Uh, it's a really great page because everything that it recommends is great. Like that black avocado pudding. Mm-hmm. It's called Hearty Soul. And it's just got great, like, Buddhist quotes and at the same time great recipes. 48 clove garlic soup kills any stomach virus. Hmm. Any stomach virus. It is fucking insane. I, I'm like, I read this and I'm like, I used to eat garlic because it's, it's the best antioxidant next to turmeric. So I made this fucking soup. Imagine how hard it is to cut up 48 garlic yeah. cloves. Well, you have a magic bullet, right? Well, yeah, but you can't put small things in there. You I got you. So I so I had to do it by hand, and then uh, an entire ginger root, a little bit of thyme, and in like chicken soup. And dude, I'm telling you, first day, gone. Really? First day gone. How did it taste? It tasted amazing because I love garlic. Sure. I mean, I was burping all night, and like Kelly wanted me to wear a fucking gas mask, <laughs> you know. But it was fucking amazing. I would literally, I would eat it all the time, but I would be afraid that my body would get used to it, so I wouldn't have yeah. anything to heal my horrible throat and stomach. Right. But I'm telling you, next time you get the flu, forty-eight clove garlic, garlic soup. soup. And you know what else is crazy that I found out later that night? I'm fucking while I'm making while after I make this, I I have the Google Music uh, app on, mm-hmm. you know. 
blasting like some Frankie Valley and skipping around the fucking kitchen scene. Yeah. And Kelly's like, what the hell is wrong with you? It's like nine at night and you're skipping around the house singing. Garlic lowers your br- blood pressure. So 48 garlic cloves got me wasted for six hours. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. You could get wasted off of garlic. And you'll feel better. Yeah. It was it was fucking crazy. I I, I, I felt like I'd, I felt fucked up when I went to sleep because I was like, I, I don't know if I'm going to wake up because my blood pressure was so low, you know? Mm. But I don't know. Well, you heard it here first, folks. 48 clove garlic soup. Yeah. Or garlic clove soup you from guys Hearty like garlic? Soul. I do like garlic. Yeah, well, garlic's good. Mike Ross. Yeah. Move that thing closer. You keep looking at here, look at me and then pull that mic. No, no, hold it up over there. No, by the by the by the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pull, look like this and then move it closer to you. Yeah, like that. See now you can look at me. Uh, yeah, see you got a perfect spot there, right? Yep, this is better. All right. I'm All sorry. Right. I, I feel like an asshole every time I tell you, but you don't fucking talk into the mic. Anyway, <laughs> So, what's you like garlic pill? Yeah, garlic's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great transition. I'm really sorry it took me this long to figure out. Can I to, to well, figure out what? This this is actually the best, you know. Yeah, it is the soup. best, right? Go ahead. Talk about garlic soup. Talk about yeah. garlic soup. Shut up and talk about yeah. garlic soup. Run! <laughs> oh no, no. You know what? I wanted to vent. I, I I got so much shit to vent about with this wedding crap. Can I vent about the Baha'i Temple? No, Can I, I can't. No. Yes. Shut the hell Ru- up. All right, sorry. All yeah, right, all, right, all, right, all right, all right, all right. Let me tell you my Baha'i Temple experience from start to finish, everybody. Fuck that religion. Fuck that faith. They're full of shit. Yeah, okay, Ross. I told you, I, dude, <laughs> I, I, I told you guys, dude, I told you guys how great this church looks. Yeah. It, 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 it took them six years to build it. It took like the best stone masons. You know, this is like a fucking church from Europe. They built it here, funded by this... You know, oh, how surprising, a shitty, culty fucking religion funded by a billionaire, yeah, right? An eccentric billionaire. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I wonder if he's a sci-fi writer. Reminds you something? Yeah. You know? No, any, anyways. So, so, anyways, we went there, and the first time we went, they're like, yeah, you can have a wedding here. You can do, yeah, you can have it in the garden, or you can have it at the altar, and, and we can change it at any time, and we can even wipe off the beer that, you know, Ross just spilled all over his face and on his shirt. We'll do everything, you know? And... <laughs> and uh so basically we we were like this is fucking great no donation required we can do whatever the hell we want so we started setting shit up we got you guys got your tuxes measured no mm-hmm. yes exactly yep. yeah so we got all the groomsmen ma- ready bridesmaids ready we're, we get, we got like gavin's gonna be the ring bearer you know we got all this shit set up wait who are the bridesmaids uh colleen uh is the maid of yeah. honor um, I th- yeah, either her or Mary. Okay, and then Jessica, you know, just uh, Mato Yoshi. Yeah, Yoshi. Yeah. Um, the f- why am I blanking on this? I'm gonna feel like an asshole. Okay, but they're all babes. Oh yeah, nice. Are they single? If you want them to be, like, if you're a ladies' man like me, <laughs> <laughs> no, but you think you're so pretty, but <laughs> you're and you're not, Phil. <laughs> there is a tradition using a wedding. One of what about ha- groomsmen and bridesmaids having an orgy? One of them ha- hook up. One of them hook up. Yeah, <coughs> the bride and the groom. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what <are> you? Anyways, <laughs> uh, so right. so we're getting this shit set up, and these fucking assholes like they had a little a little bit of quirky shit because like they told us like every other church tells you you have to plan latest six months ahead of time Mm. so some people plan weddings three years ahead this place goes you can plan earlier than six months ahead of time so we go there for our interview we're the only obviously every time we go in there we're the only people there because this culty fucking place just doesn't know how to manipulate their followers you you know what followers right Mm. anyways so we're watching this video and wait, they show you a video? Yeah, yeah, they sh- said a Hi, song. welcome to Baha'i. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. This, the story is there was a fucking there's the World's Fair, which you guys you guys know what the World's yeah. Fair is. Yes. Yeah, so there's the World's Fair, and there was a whole bunch of discrimination because there were people of different cultures bringing in all these goods to Chicago, and you know, so there was people who are Muslim, who are Hindi, who are Buddhist. And this Arab guy was like, "Stop fighting. We can make our own religion." So they made Baha'i. 
and that's what they pulled out of their ass. And they built a fucking church on each one church on each continent. We're the only one in U.S. And that's that's the relig- that's that's pretty much it. And oh, and instead of mass, they call it devotions. Okay. And there's no clergy allowed. Yeah. We, here's all the shit they fucking lay on you right before the interview. Right. No clergy. What does that mean? No clergy means no priest. That means you have to fucking mo- you have to make up this thing. You have to like it's pretty much like writing a fucking play. You have to you know figure out how you're going to run this. Okay. Not to mention you can't have clergy. So like I was gonna have Bill do the Dudas thing. No, 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 no. That 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 looks too much like a set up Catholic church. Okay. Uh, what else? No exchanging of rings. Nope. You you can only exchange rings before, and you have to wear them during. You cannot you cannot exchange them during because that reminds us of the Catholic religion, and that would offend our four followers in this <laughs> large building. Sure. You know, <laughs> right. and and and, the, and and no walking down the aisle, no bridesmen or groomsmaid. I'm like, we already fucking got this shit done, and she's like, well, are they matching tuxes? Yeah. What do you, what do you think? We're fucking stoners in pajamas? Yeah, they're matching. Oh well, you're gonna have to sit, you know, stand spread apart in in the crowd. So I'm like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" And and I and I ditched out of there. I was so, I was so mad. Yeah. When I get angry, I drive full speed. Sure. So out there was, <laughs> I made Kelly throw up from driving <laughs> because uh, she was in the back seat and there was um. So say we're at zero level, right ground mm-hmm. right now, and it's flat. There was a train track there. That you know how train tracks slowly, like uh, like like the ground slowly elevates. This one just went up right away, mm-hmm. and it's like ten feet high. And I went like sixty over, so we flew in the air. Nice, Dukes almost, of hazard. Almost hit the car in front of us, and psychedelics was in the car. <laughs> so did he puke too? No, no, no. He was, he was like groovy. He was our last guest. Oh, he's a DJ who um, he DJs psychedelic music with vinyl all over Chicago. You should watch that episode here on Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing. But um, anyways, so what ends up happening is I'm like, what the fuck are we going to do? And I picked the church that I grew up at that I wanted to burn down in seventh grade. You <laughs> it's know? not too late. This yeah. is it. This oh, is I the know, day. Right? Af- after we get married. Right, yeah, After yeah. we get married. Mm, you know? After the reception. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to get my money's worth, you mm-hmm. know, because they want a $250 uh, donation minimum. Okay. So, uh, so we went over there, and you guys want to, well, okay. So is it Catholic? It is Catholic. Okay. Uh, it is. Uh, it is in the shape of. It's where I first started to get drunk too. You in know, the church. Yeah, yeah. Because I used to be an altar server since mm-hmm. sixth grade, and it's really, really. It's this is really, really brings back memories and makes me giggle because there was this kid I knew, Bobby J. Sure, my Bobby J. My mom used to call him the Red Beat, <laughs> because, okay. because this kid. Three times, and this was like different years because the teachers got to know him. Three different teachers called like medical assistants because when he would hold in his laughs, he would turn purple. <laughs> because he, I don't, I don't, he's like Irish and Polish, so he like already has like red cheeks. But when he would like hold in his laughs, he would fucking turn purple, and they thought like he's suffocating. Jeez. So our game was when we're altar servers, when we're we would purposely schedule on the same one. We eventually got banned, and. <laughs> You know, when you're an altar server, one goes on the left side, one goes on the right side. Mm-hmm. We would try and make each other laugh by, like, mocking the priest or by, like, doing sign language or, like, sure. hey, Tupac, West Side, you know? Mm-hmm. And before it, we would drink half of the wine. Nice. So, so like, it was absolutely hilarious. Like, my ma was mad because she'd get in trouble for laughing because she was, like, in the last row and you could see this fucking kid turning purple. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so so it brings back memories sure <laughs> and sure. uh and yeah and yeah i i actually did i was trying to think of like starting a small fire there but it's made out of stone <laughs> i'm not i'm not kidding Damn. so so it have to be a large fire about this though huh what if it, what the people at the show so watch it yeah man i don't know yeah the clergy like, love oh, us. Wel- welcome back <gasps> oh, he knows about Red, Red, Red Beat's friend. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we, we remember Red Beat. Is this whole, whole uh, is going to be in English or Polish? Of course, English. Uh, oh, well, you're making fun of yeah. me talking like in Polish. Yeah, because I make fun of Polish people. You're doing it very well. He he he's a Polak. Yeah, mm-hmm. He's a, he's Father Rafael. Really? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so I I was going to get to this. 
I had one person, I'm not going to name who, who thought this was fucking horrible. All right, you guys know who it is. Robert. Yep. <laughs> he thought it was horrible. I, everybody I told this to was laughing their asses off. I want to know what you guys think. So what? Ha- so here's what happened. When I was in school, they made us, they made us, They. I mean, they gave us a form to sign to go to home to uh, or, or to sign this form to give the kids permission to watch The Exorcist okay. in, in school yeah. to scare us more into the word of God. Yeah. And because, you know, it's quote unquote based on a true story. It's a documentary. Yeah. So three weeks before this whole church situation, I watched The Exorcist Mm -hmm. with Gavin because he started going to his Catholic friends. So I'm like, yeah, watch this. (laughs) Come here, son. (laughs) So (laughs) let me tell you something about hard times. (laughs) But (laughs) from the 90s. No, no, but anyways, so um, I I watched it with him and um, it freaked him out because, you know, like some of the facts. Have you ever heard of the shit that happened? Uh, like off camera? No, about the movie. Yeah, there there was like ten people who mysteriously died right after the taping, and then the, the, here's the weirdest thing: all the other ones are kind of like stupid, fucking schizophrenic coincidences, you know. Mm-hmm. But what the one that freaked me out the most w- was that the set of the house that it's filmed at caught on fire, and the whole thing burnt down to black besides her room. Weird, right? <laughs> I mean, I didn't. You guys can fact check Mr. Gil Varglover out there, but <laughs> you fucking with that stick up your ass, and I'm sure you're gonna love this project. Hey, the roast is over. Yeah, we're right, nice now. Right, right. But it's so easy to make fun of Vog. Yeah, yeah. A- a- anyways, so here's what happened, Ross. I, w- I want you to tell me if this is funny. So we watch this movie. Three weeks later, we go to this church. They needed to interview us, and the, p- the priest's like, "So, do you you guys baptize?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." We we walk into the rectory, and th- th- that's where the priests sleep. Not where they insert, you sure. know. That's a different room. That's the That's, basement. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he's got a little, ca- he's got a little cat like Pierogi, and he's got a little dog like Toto from mm-hmm. Wizard of Oz. And I'm like, oh, this is so nice. And he's like, no, no uh, don't touch cat, the, or don't touch dog, don't touch dog. And we're like, oh, what's his name? His name Gangster. He's <laughs> because he come from broken home. I'm like, what? What do you mean? Like, he's like, he seems happy, and he's like, no, no, he's very happy, but he's from broken home, so he goes. He goes nuts and snap of finger. I'm like, ah, he's fine. I'm good with dogs, and I like you know animals that bite. Mm-hmm. So I'm rubbing his chin, and this whole time, the f- the side joke is that uh, Gavin kind of doesn't like to go to uh, family outings because uh, Kelly has a really cunty grandma, and she keeps calling Gavin Gavin the heathen in the family. What the grandma does? Yeah. Okay. Because uh, he wasn't baptized, <gasps> and. She reminds me of my mom a lot. No, but sure. <laughs> Sounds nice. So so um we're we're there with our Baptist form, you know, what are you guys baptized? Mm-hmm. And immediate and I'm I'm scratching the dog's chin. Immediately I go, here, Gavin, because I felt bad. We're sitting down, Gavin's staying there. I'm yeah. like, come on, pet the dog, pet the dog. As soon as Gavin reaches over, the dog bites into his hand, <sighs> breaks skin, and makes him bleed. Ga- Gavin was trying to hold in his tears, but he ended up throwing up because it hurt so much. And and like I, I don't know. I, I thought it was fucking crazy that that's when it happens. So I just like nudge. I'm like, yeah, he he sensed that you weren't baptized, you little heathen. <laughs> 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 so then Gavin started yeah. crying. Well, 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 when he well, when once he started getting sick, I was like, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Everything's okay. The Exorcist isn't real. It was made by Disney. You know? <laughs> so, anyways, that was a lawsuit like that. You could have sued us. Uh, yeah, yeah, take that church for everything. Right, that I'm was. sue you. I'm not. So how about we let's break a deal free wedding you know? right yeah why didn't you do that because uh, i don't give a fuck i mean i, I don't i don't know <laughs> why, I, I, yeah why why didn't you sue the church yeah right for that dog could, could have rabies so shit like that the priest told you not to touch the dog yeah so <laughs> yeah anyway gavin needs to work on his listening yeah right what do you guys think that was pretty funny though right uh, would you go to a <laughs> church what the first church why would you go there because that's where I grew up. I told you. You you went to a cult church? No, no this no, isn't a cult. Oh, a cult. I, I I didn't understand what you said. A cult church because it looks nice. It is really pretty. That's that's the deceiving. I gotta say, Ross, you got some helmet hair going. Yeah, well, I used to do my hair, so I have. You, you look like you traveled here from the seventies. You just you just jealous of my luscious hair. I know, I know, because because you're the actual ladies' man. That. Yeah, I have no idea, honey bunny. <laughs> That's a honey <Yeah>. bunny. <laughs> That's what oh. I call my mother. Really? I like it. See, so. now we're getting to the real getting to know you part. R- what? 
that <laughs> what Ross calls his yeah. mother. So, um, anyways, I don't know. What so Gavin is now terrified of yeah, dogs. Yeah. And speak. So speaking of wedding, I wanted to transition to. I want to know what you guys think of this and. We so I'm having this wedding, and most people have a registry, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Kelly and I, we are very tight on budget. We're gonna lose all our fucking money on this wedding, but we only want a few things, anyways. You know, mm-hmm. and we don't want a fucking stupid toaster or some fucking George Foreman grill. So we're we're we decided to make a GoFundMe. You know, mm-hmm. to just like we want one thing. What I I can tell you guys what it is if you want to know. It's a uh, have you ever heard of purple beds? Mm-mm. Dude, it's the best fucking mattress I've ever been on. Really? R- really. Like, it's not the, um, what is it called? The memory foam? Sure. Like, the ones that look like egg holders mm-hmm. or whatever. I, we, we have a layer of that now. Mm-hmm. And, dude, this purple shit, it's a grid, so it looks like a large-ass wasp nest. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? the Or a honeycomb. Sure. You know what I mean? And it is made out of, like, this silicone plastic chemical. And it, it is amazing, dude. It's somehow it evens. So you know how they say your lower back needs some support, then your neck needs some support, mm-hmm. and then your head needs it needs to actually be flat, like you shouldn't be using a pillow? Mm-hmm. That shit evens everything out perfectly with your weight. Nice. It's fucking crazy. And But anyways, I was thinking like, you know what You know what I think is fucking ridiculous? is like I've asked this to other people. Well, what, So what do you guys think of uh, GoFundMe? Our goal is four grand, which, which like, I don't know. How many people invited? Like sixty, that uh, means each person would have to give like sixty dollars max. That's that's reasonable. Uh, how much is the mattress? No, I'm or saying your that goal is four thousand. Yeah, goal because I'm not saying just that. Like that's not like that sure. expensive. But um, yeah, I think. I mean, is that bad? Right? No. I'm. Th- I, yeah, I, I I don't think that's asking for much. Most people get like fucking ten grand in gifts, if not more. You know. So I I, I don't know, but I asked some people. And they're just like, dude, GoFundMe is fucking stupid. That's like for people who get sick and need a cancer s- surgery or some shit, you know. Or, mm-hmm. And it's like, dude, you know what I think is the funniest shit? Hmm. Go on your Facebook and see how many dumbass friends you see on there with a GoFundMe. I, 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 like, I'm not going to name who, but I see a person like, yo, man, I set my house on fire because I was high. And I need <laughs> money for a new apartment. Sure. And, and people will donate to that. But here's like contributing individuals who are starting a loving family. Oh no, no, I, that's too much, right? Or 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 this guy fucking, you know, I I I my cat got run over because I wasn't watching it because I'm a fucking drunk. Mm-hmm. And I, I I don't know. I just can't believe people will do that. Or or hey, hey man, I make, you know, wh- wh- whatever the fuck, I make uh, bottle cap necklaces. Uh, and and I'd like to sell my Etsy, and it's my dream to to you know express my artistic capability, and people donate thousands of dollars to that, but mm-hmm. they won't donate to a friend. You know what I mean? Like, I think you're fine. I think it's a little weird that you have like a goal in yeah. mind. You know, like well, on ah, reaching four thousand. Well, th- we'll see what the goal is. Me and Kelly are like really different people as mm-hmm. far as our likes. So four grand is like the things that we would like. You won't get in a fucking registry because it's good. Like y- it's all from hot topic. Well, well, no, you know what I mean. Like Kelly's gonna want shit from this really niche website mm-hmm. for this much money, and then I want shit from this really niche website, and all that money put together is like around four grand. Sure, basically. I think that's fucking genius. I really do. I mean, I, yeah. I'm gonna write you and Kelly a personal check, but that's just me, and I'm taking that. Are you gonna put lipstick on and kiss it Ooh, as a signature? I like it. How much are you gonna give them, Ross? That's so that's private. Okay. Can I guess? You know, you know, Bill, you know how much I gave you for, the, for your wedding shower, so. Is it at least $60? Because if you, it's not. You took my beers. That's what it was. No, it was a little more. <laughs> a little more than taking my <laughs> beers. <laughs> <laughs> I like the uh, currency all right. conversion. All right, so we've got one down. He's right. giving you at least 60 All right. I'm also, I, Anyways. I'm not going to break it. It's going to be at least 75 80 bucks. All right. So then, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I'm not made of money, so you know, if I could, I'll, I'll give you like two hundred. But I gotta go buy a budget, so you know. It's private, man. Yeah. It's private. That's right. Yeah. All so, all I'm saying is, sixty dollars is not a lot to pay no. for a wedding. I mean, I remember the weddings that I went to. I gave at least, at the very least, a hundred dollars, and I was a drug dealer at the time, so I gave a whole lot of that. 
So <laughs> just, <laughs> just, I don't just, just weird. And, and I got complained at. Because they're like, yeah, we appreci- I appreciate it, but my wife doesn't do drugs, and I, 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 I'm not supposed to do that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, well, it's, the, it's the thought that counts. Sold, sold everything you give him? Huh? He probably just sold it. Probably did. I don't know. I don't get the drug life. I never will. Anyways, the drug life? Yeah. The drug It's because you don't know the thug life. That's right. Yo. Anyways, you want to know... Uh, I had a really funny story that reminded me recently. Speaking of drugs, yeah, um, my buddy uh, Nick Waters, he will be on an episode in the future. Nice. I think that was the sixth person that I forgot because nice. I, I was telling Bill a list of people that we're going to have on the show. Special announcements: We're going to have a Australian rapper Muggsy on soon once we figure out some Skype, and we will give a shout out to him. Yeah, but um, thanks for listening. Yeah, you know the one. There, there, there's two bitches about that, um, the Skype thing and trying to, you know, calibrate it with how I'm going to edit the video. Mm-hmm. The second thing is, when he messaged me, it was like 11 at night here, yeah. but it was 10 a.m. there. So we're going to have to, like, you I and have me. Have a really weird time. Yeah, yeah. You and me are going to have to do a podcast at, like, I don't know, what, midnight or something, if um, that's cool. Yeah. Can I so, figure it out? I, I, I don't know, man. We'll see. You, 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 you'll you'll have to uh, come up with some better roast jokes for me. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but no, no, yeah. We'll 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 see how it goes. You know? I, that's way right up my alley. I told you that. Australian you're, you're rap alley. And you know, you pick me up, but I take a Uber home. It's a done deal with me. You're telling me to pick you up and take it. No, you get to take a fucking Uber, asshole. Wait, you're telling a funny story about Nick Waters. All right, all right, Nick. Anyways, so no, Nick, Nick reminded because of my bad memory. So me, so. Let me tell a brief, brief uh, explanation. Long of how story this, short. Yeah, yeah. Long story. Sh- th- this whole trip was ridiculous. Th- th- this which trip? Uh, to San Francisco. Okay. So, so ar- about ten years ago, I mean, my whole life, because of the shit that I went through and my meds, blah blah blah. I've mentioned this before. I just been a really angry fuck, and then out of nowhere, I started listening to Brian Jones, Tom Asker. Then I started listening to My Bloody Valentine. Then I started listening to My Velvet Underground, and. I just went down this rabbit hole of psych music, and I'm like, "Fuck!" Follow the white rabbit. There's yeah, right. There's happiness in this world. <laughs> there's there's you don't have to be fucking angry at everybody, you know. And um, that's when I started my band and everything. And I'm like, man, you know, everybody fucking loves San Francisco. Everybody loves it. That's where they. That's where, if you listen to psychedelic music, that's where you go. And I was friends with Adela at the time. Yeah, uh, uh, Adela is. Gr- I I was best friends with Adela, and Adela had gone out with Bill mm-hmm. for a my, long time. Yeah, what two and a half years, I think. Yeah, yeah. My high school sweetheart. Did did uh did we go to San Francisco when I or did I know you when we went to San Francisco? Uh, yeah, possibly. Mm-hmm. Okay, and um, so what happened is uh, so at first I was because <laughs> we we were in a really really Gogol Bordello, so we're like we're gonna do everything gypsy, you know, because <laughs> she's Czech and I'm a Pol well Czech and Polish and I'm a Polak, you know, full Polish. So there's these uh, fucking U-Hauls parked in the golf mill, you know, mall. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah, we're going to go there at night and we're going to siphon all the gas. That's how we're going to get to San Francisco. And then like two two uh, two days later, I realized like plane tickets are cheaper than driving them. (laughs) (laughs) And and Adela was so pumped about this like gas heist. that She already did a whole lot of sucking for like four days. And I'm like, "Uh, you can... Just keep the gas. I'm sorry. The plane <laughs> tickets are cheaper. <laughs> you know? And I'm just like, what the... Like, I, I, I have felt bad because I'm like, oh, man. I I didn't even start siphoning yeah. gas. You know, Whoops. she's got, like, how many gallons? But anyways, so we ended up going... And that whole trip was absolutely fucking ridiculous. I that's that's how I want Amsterdam to be because we're there. I, I'm there, and I'm like, yeah, I want to go to Hate Ashbury. I want to check out the record stores. But all the shit we did. I mean, I ended up running into. Uh, we ended up going to a uh, see Grandmaster Flash. He had a fucking rent. You know that is. Mm-hmm. It's like a jungle sometimes. Make me wonder how I keep from going under. The yeah. message. Yeah. So, you so hung out with him. Yeah, we went to a concert with him. Um, I uh, we wanted to go to a great Japanese restaurant um, just because, like, we hear there's a lot of great Japanese food. Mm-hmm. Uh, San Francisco, like, that's you know where a lot of Japanese immigrants go. Mm-hmm. I didn't tell Nick or Reese uh, Della knew and thought it was funny that this place was a trans uh, stripper slash sushi place. Okay, so we had a whole bunch of trans men dancing all over us, and I loved it. Yeah, and um. 
then it, but the funny thing was beforehand i it, it it's it's funny now now that nick reminded me because i asked him i go you remember how much i tweak on brownies right he's like dude don't even mention it do you remember san francisco and i'm like no i don't remember so what happened is we bought cookies at a dispensary there and it said like please take a quarter of this so they took half i too and we go to this japanese restaurant and we're just chilling there and you can see in the photos like i'm thinking when i looked when i was looking at the photos i'm like yeah i'm i'm loving it there these fucking trans women look hotter than some girlfriends that i had Mm -hmm. i'm getting all the love that's how i looked at the picture and nick's like no no dude they they were all over you because i think they were trying to calm you down because you're getting paranoid that someone's following you (laughs) in the fucking (laughs) restaurant i hate to do this but i need to take a quick peek no break man that's sorry for drinking that's right Uh, learn your lesson ross i'm serious all right hold it in man anyway finish the story so so anyways i end up I, I after that night because they're like we got to get the hell out of this restaurant. Let's just go to the hotel, and we ended up going to a, we we were at a hostel, mm-hmm. so you had to like carry your whole fucking backpack every day because anybody could yeah. use your room that night. Me and, and like the whole time I remember like I was tweaking so bad that Adela is like reading a bunch of she picked up a bunch of free magazines mm-hmm. like you know the Illinois Entertainer or something you know just to find all these places we can go to. Yeah, and I'm just laying there listening to shoegaze and like looking out the window we, we you know how san francisco's at an angle and i'm just looking at the city i'm just like it's so beautiful <laughs> <laughs> this song isn't and i'm just sitting there crying to the shoegaze song next to and she's like i don't know if i want to sleep next to you you're getting <laughs> weird and after she says i'm getting weird I, I i ended up falling asleep in a panic but then i wake up with adela like sleep humping my leg and mm-hmm. I'm just like, I'm the one who's weird. We've heard what? that story on the podcast <laughs> before. <laughs> I have, and, all right. and that's well, what you want Amsterdam to be like? Well, I hope. Dude, I hope. I'll, I'll hump the shit out of your leg. <laughs> just say the word. It, I mean, since I love both of you guys, I hope y- like you and John get each in le- a leg. Oh, yeah. I, that's yeah. our plan. We were going to surprise yeah. you. But but but, but, but uh, another thing, th- the, the last thing that was kind of funny but sad is mm-hmm. every morning when we went out there, because it was a hostel, there was uh, this bum who looked like Jack the Ripper from Last Action Hero, or like the singer of uh, Strapping Young Lad. He's 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 like ba- completely bald on top, but has hair on the sides. Okay, and it's really fucking greasy. And this guy would have a cigarette every morning, and um, we had, we had a shitload of weed cookies left, and we're like, there's no way we're taking this, and definitely keep them away from Phil. So I'm talking to this homeless man. I'm like, yeah, where do you, so you lived here a long time? Where, what are some cool places? You, you know, you know any good places to go to? He told us about a beach, about a p- park. I'm like, you know, you're a cool guy. I don't have any food, but you can have this cookie. The guy was there every morning for like three days straight. So I'm assuming he goes there every day. After that, he disappeared for two weeks. I thought Uh-oh. he fucking died or something. Uh-oh. And he ended up coming back the, the last day, I think. So he was okay, but. Good. I don't know. So there's a all as well that ends well. I, I I just I just remember how funny it was that I was like paranoid in this fucking restaurant, yeah. you know. But just, uh, whatever. All right, we're gonna take a quick break. I can hear Ross fidgeting in the seat I to my left. I'm not fidgeting. No, nope, you're not. We're still gonna take a break. Yeah. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll be right back. All right. <laughs> I just don't want to repeat stories. Yeah, yeah, I don't either. Are you weird that sensitive about it or you don't care? No, like, I don't care about the story at all. No, but like, I get weirded out when you talk about fucking exes, so I'm oh. sure Bill would. I don't have uh, to talk to anybody. I don't How many times have uh, you mentioned Kathleen's asshole? <laughs> 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 that, that, and big, we're back. <laughs> uh, topic of discussion, Kathleen's yeah. asshole. Phil, your thoughts. Yeah. Uh, let me see. I, I mean, it was... Charmin is better than gen- generic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. See, you're racist. <laughs> you're, you're racist against our one per, uh, against both of our one percent Ashkenazi Jewish. I think I'm a little more than one percent, but I don't know the numbers. Okay, but we can round down to one percent. Speaking of our one percent Jewish, um, why do you hate us, Ross? Yeah, we're suing your ass. We're suing your ass. Except for the jewel customers, Phil, Except me, 
anyone religious. Hold, hold it by the shaft and put it near your mouth. I want you to, Ross. No, 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 not like that. I don't want that saucy mouth in there. Come on. <laughs> I got to sanitize that now. I'm serious. Uh-huh. Right, this is the closest it's going to get, all right? Okay. We're having fun. This yeah. is this is fun. What were you going to say, Phil? Well, no, speaking of our 1% Jewish. Yeah. We, uh, so, so yeah, I, I, I got excited because, I mean, I talked to Bill about this. What do you think, Ross? Bill doesn't want to do this. I, or we mentioned this before, the birthright thing, right? I don't no. know if Ross was here. Can you well, we, a little bit, please? Yeah, we went on... Do you know what birthright.com is? Is that a, like a gene kind of thing? No. No. That's 23andMe, but I had my 23andMe done, and then I went on, I got an ad randomly on Facebook, so they must have heard me being yeah. really Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> they saw your results. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, he's one of us. So, uh, th- yeah, I, um, I was thinking, I'm like, well, I'm 1% Jewish. Birthright is... I don't know what you would call it, a comp- not a company, like uh, a community that encourages knowing your Jewish history if you have, uh, y- you know, you know it in your bloodline, and they want you to visit Israel, and they offer one free trip, a week trip to Israel, where you will go with a guide and learn about Israel and the Jewish history. You know, truthfully, I wouldn't mind going to Israel. I, I, would lo- I love Israel. Yeah. So you'll go to Israel, but you won't come to Amsterdam with us? Ah. What about that, Ross? You know, yeah. if I had the opportunity. When you go to Israel, will you bring me back a shot glass? Absolutely. Ross, go, Ross goes to what's free. You know what I mean? Which, speaking of somebody who's frugal, I think you should check your, uh, you know, if you got, what, what, what you got in your blood. <laughs> yeah, right. Would check. you stop calling me fucking cheap? I, I, w- I work 11 bucks an hour at Jewel, all right? I do what I can do. Well, that means you got to take it to the streets with that tight fucking raptured butthole, you know? With my one ball. Yeah. Uh, You know how rare that is? There's people out there who are like, oh, man, I just want to stretch that ballless sack all over my face like a chicken wing, you know? (laughs) It doesn't look like Why am I so uncomfortable? Let's let's talk about it. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways. As much as Bill Bill said he didn't want to take the trip. Right. So I I just the party pooper like I don't want to go to Israel. I don't want to talk about Ross's scrotum. But I want to know what is there a reason why? Uh, because I'm not a practicing Jew. Like I feel like it's not for me. But I mean if you're interested in that history, I'm in I I don't know. I feel like a dumb fucking American because we don't know shit about Gaza Strip, about is if 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 I got offered a free trip to fucking Zimbabwe, where you go with a any name any fucking country, just throw a dart at a map, and they offer a free trip and they, about with a guide, their history, and they take you to all these fun places. Yeah, but someone's paying for that, and I wouldn't feel right about having someone pay for me to go to something just cause, you know. And maybe that's the Jew in me. Like, so I guess I shouldn't go to Amsterdam because you and John paying for that. That's <laughs> you know. You guys yeah. are paying for Phil? Uh, yeah. John made that deal. Yeah. That's why I wanted you in on the deal to pay a little bit, which is why I knew you wouldn't join. That is not the problem, Phil. <laughs> you know what no. the problem is. No. I Anyways, so you wouldn't go. Um, that I, I respectfully, you know, sure. understand that. That just, you know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Like, I am Jewish by blood, by faith, no. Mm-hmm. I can't I can't justify it. Plus, there's plenty of places I'd way, way rather go to. You know what I'm thinking about right now? Tell me. How many Varg lovers right now are watching this? So that explains they are Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I hated <laughs> them. Actually, Varg doesn't think he, he is a racist. I bet you Varg is Jewish in his blood. I, I fucking I totally guarantee agree. you. And I love black metal. Let's put it. Anybody who doesn't know me, I have to say I love black You know, metal. actually, what's a really funny story is um, one day, so I work. I mentioned I work in a factory with 80% Polish people. And dude, this isn't just Polish people. This is a this is a okay. I I have al- always been known to have anecdotal evidence because I just sometimes don't trust statistics, and there's always the whole correlation doesn't equal causation. So I've always judged things by my life and the people that I experience. From what I've experienced, a lot of people in Europe, no matter who you are, mm-hmm. that includes Polish, Italian, British. Uh, those like three ones especially hate Jewish people I've noticed and I never understood why and what I thought was kind of funny that's contradictory is like like I tried um, like for example I was arguing with that fucking gun nut at work about Holocaust denial right 
And I'm like, wait a minute. So I'm so I'm reading about this. Like, what? So this is you know, uh, have you ever heard of that? Like the Turner Diaries? No. It's like a ridiculous book that all white supremacists read about how basically white uh, culture is being poisoned. Okay. And if we don't make a change, like it will be destroyed. So I was like reading like little cliff notes on this shit, and it's like when it gets to the Jewish thing, everybody, I mean. Not not just white supremacists, like random scattered racist Polish people, random scattered racist Italian people, random scattered racist Europeans say we don't like Jews because they they control everything. The the Zionist you know fucking thing, and I'm just like, wait a minute. So how's that supremacy? You hate somebody because they're better than you, <laughs> you know? Man. Like it doesn't make sense to me. Man, tyranny. We have to fight tyranny. The yeah. powers that be. Yeah, That's we just, have to rise up. So, anyways. Ross loves black metal. After after a lunch, there's a uh, there's um like all the there, there's like all these Polish guys. The, there's like fourteen of them. They're all sitting on this. They always sit by this lumber thing when the clock's about to run out. And I just start hearing, man, the Jews control everything in Europe. They fucking control. And I go up to them and I go, well, I took a twenty three and me, and I just made this fact up. Mm-hmm. I'm like, and you know, it actually is proven that um everybody in uh, in Eastern Europe has a fifty percent chance of having Jewish blood, and they haven't talked. They haven't yeah. talked to me since. Oh, <laughs> like they fucking hate me. Is that check two? Huh? Eastern Europe. That's check two. Yeah. Okay. I'm check, so I'm just wondering. Yeah, but Phil also just made up that fact. Yeah, I, I made that up, and that Mike is in another different place again. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's well, fine. That's what we'll, we'll call this episode. You know, Ross's Mike troubles. Mike practice. Yeah. We're just my my like Mike's. That's right, like Mike. Well, you were talking about Ross liking metal. Yeah, Ross likes black metal. Ross, do you like do you like black metal? Well, my uh, metal tastes have evolved over the years. How so? I went from liking fucking Limp Bizkit, Corn, mm-hmm. in, in, in the, the pioneers of metal. No, absolutely not. To uh, I'd say, I went from. Extreme to another, and and Phil has always been, you know, he said to me when we first, like, oh, I like black metal when I was in eighth grade, you know. He, he Phil, is this true? Know. Did you say that to him in eighth grade? No, yeah. I didn't know him in eighth grade, but he told me when he was like black metal, he was a kid. Okay, and sixth grade. Yeah, sixth grade, and I, I, he's only a couple years younger than me, so I was in eighth grade. And you know, it's side note that's really funny is um I have a lot of shit from when I was a kid, like binders and notebooks, mm-hmm. and uh, like I had a horror club, so we would draw like people chopping each other up with chainsaws, and everybody would contribute in the horror club. And one thing that I saw is on the binder, I have like Varg written in rune on there, and like Burza, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like from sixth grade, you know, I don't know. A on your fun. homework, on your tests, yeah, yeah, pentagrams and yeah, yeah. And well, well, so, so my point being is, I don't. I grew up in the very pop metal scene, mm-hmm. which is that like Limp Bizkit, Corn. Yeah. Twenty years later, I can't get. I can't stand anything mainstream metal. It mm. just sounds garbage to me. So y- very generic and repetitive. So you won't come see Corn and Alice in Chains with me. No, but the only medicine band I can listen to is Slipknot. I just can't get enough of them. And, it, and it's a, everybody, you know, growing up will like that one band that they would never get over. With. Sure. And, and that's Slipknot for me. I know they're not the best band. I know they're very uh, poppy, many thing, but that's, to me, you know, that's one band I, I can say for over 20 years. Plus, Ramstein is another one. Those two bands I'm always going to love. Mm-hmm. I want to know. When it comes to metal, with oh, what two bands? I know Slayer is Ooh. Slayer. No, Slayer is not my... <laughs> <laughs> two bands that you can't get over. All right, what are the two bands? That I can't get over. Metal bands specifically or just bands in general, childhood bands? I get. I always... I think metal, I think, is easy to get over. And, and so I, I wouldn't I be... I can never get over it, and I've been listening to almost 23 there's years. There's bands that I can't get over that I listened to for years. Which, speaking of recently, Prodigy has been in my fucking iPod since I was in grammar school, and that like Rest in peace. yeah, I'll be I'll be honest, I I am not that fucking moron who goes unfit. R.I.P. for this person. Okay, you know what? 
R.I.P. Michael Jackson, that kid fucker. No, you can. I I hope you're he he getting fucked in the ass by the devil right now. Hey, Prince. He was very talented. Prince, I don't give a fuck about. I that the Prince sounds like every fucking background music in Super Nintendo games, and yeah, same same with David Bowie. Yeah, we'll David, David Bowie before, Aretha Franklin, I do like, and I definitely. She's not uh, dead, is she? Yeah, she died like uh three months ago. Oh, or not three months ago, a while. Oh. Uh, May she, she rest in peace. And uh, so, yeah, probably Aretha and Keith Flint from Prodigy. Those are like the only ones that I really cared about. Prodigy, I fucking, I remember like loving them for a while. I remember like the first time I heard Prodigy was with John because his cousin. Was it Bo- Auto? Yeah, it was that album. That, is just, uh, that whole album is yeah, amazing. Is. Fat of the Land. Mm-hmm. Breathe, Firestarter, Smack yes. My Bitch Up. So would you say Prodigy is oh, one of no. those bands that you can't... No, no. One of the bands that I never stopped listening to. Yeah. I don't know. T-Rex? Fucking, no. Maybe like... Maybe even like... I don't know. That isn't classic rock or... I don't I don't know, man. Maybe like Failure. I haven't stopped listening to Failure since I started listening to them because they're like space rock. There's There's mm-hmm. nothing that... They put me in a mood of like that's like music that would play in like a really cool dream for me. Mm-hmm. So it's like that nothing puts that in that mood. No, puts me in that mood. And then um I don't know. Maybe uh I can't I can't think of anything. Okay. How about you? Ben? I oh, you know what? Aphex Twin. I don't know. A- I love Aphex Twin. That shit is just like I don't know. With, with me is this. I love Slipknot's, you know. What about you, Bill? Oh, sorry. The, oh, yeah. No, it's fine. I want to hear more about Ross and Slipknot. <laughs> Finish your thought. Um, but do the listeners want to hear more about Ross and of Slipknot? Of course they do. <laughs> yeah. This is important. Ross, continue. It's just one, that one band that I can relate to that got me through a lot of shit. When did you discover Slipknot? Late. 98, early 99. Do you remember the first song you heard by them? Do you remember that moment when you knew, like, this is it. This is music. This is love. Well, that would be on MTV2 back in the day at Hambaker's Ball where they were doing the interview. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I 100% remember seeing Clown and how I, I thought that was fucking badass. Do you know how to tie a slipknot? It, 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 when I was in school, playing with the YOLO, I did. Now I don't. Not when you were in school and wanted to leave it did, all did behind. You, did you go up playing with a YOLO, like a brain or a fireball? That was a very big. A brain or a fireball? That, that's a kind of yo yo yo. Oh, a yo yo. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, the I, butterfly. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Brain and a fire. I had both. Yeah. yeah. I was so obsessed. So back in the day, I could do a, a not. A, I could still do all my tricks. It's fucking great. I, the sleeper, yeah, the, exactly. swing, the swing I, I, around the world. Yeah, I put God with, I, I had a, a yo-yo back in the day that had two um, metal things. What are they called? The springs? springs? Yeah, springs. That it, yeah, it, a, I, that was a brain. It was more than a brain. I did it, it was able to do it for two minutes. That was a $30 yo-yo. No, no, you know why those springs were there? $30 I, yo-yo? Yes. My mom killed me when I bought it at home. <laughs> no, dude, dude, that shit sucked with the springs. You know why a, a fireball was great because it was fast. Yes, I remember. Do you know why a brain had springs in it? Why? Because it came up faster because the springs activated. So your hand yes, felt like you just like fell off a building and landed on your like hands. Back. You, you hit, hit at the top. It's mm-hmm. a It was bad. Yeah. <laughs> so you know I, what I was gonna say. Oh, uh, real quick, because we we're talking about black metal. Yes. I, I, wa- I wanted to mention something that I, I think, because I, I feel very cheesy. Like, I mean, I've toned it down. I'm kind of listening to some very indie, chill music, like that um, I've been really into Unknown Mortal Orchestra lately, and I'm getting back to Velvet Underground because I haven't listened to them in a while. But uh, one thing I got to say, you know why I think... What I like about black metal and comedy so much is that I think those are like one of the two forms of art where you are completely judged by your art rather than 
like outside things. Where you think black metal specifically or? Yeah, specifically. Because it's sort of, well, what I mean by that is, so for example, as a comedian, you can't be telling, like like to me, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example. So like, I, d- I don't know who to use. This. So like Sebastian Maniscalco or Tom Segura, when they talk about, th- when they tell a story or they tell a joke that relates to their life, it's like you can tell that shit happened. You can tell how they felt. You can tell a little bit about their character, you know? And also I watch them on other shows where they talk about these things happening. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So how I mentioned before about people sort of not being real about what they're doing, and that is an artist taking himself, portraying it in his art, and then expressing it and, and putting the viewer or listener in that seat and not giving a fuck about what the the rollback is, you know? Sure. And that's why... What I what I what I think is funny when I th- when I when I'm talking about like art about, you know, in general. For example, comedy hasn't really changed in the sense that I'm gonna say whatever I want to say that's gonna make you laugh as much as fucking possible. That's the art of comedy, and it has different characters in it, you know. But I think some things like paintings or movies they're affected by social shit about shit that's going on. Like so, like well, some, I think comedy is too. Comedy is too, but the, a lot of those comedians I don't I don't care to give a fuck about because sure. I'm looking for what's funny rather than what y- you know somebody trying to almost fakely relate to. I don't know. It, it, it sometimes it seems like an old guy trying to be fucking cool. You know what I mean? Sure, but like with you're talking about art and paintings, like you can go back and see you know like old paintings like. Uh, like Rembrandt or, yeah, or Rembrandt. Van Gogh. You're talking about like wall ceiling paintings, right? That or just any painting in general. Like, is that what a Rembrandt is? I, I'm not familiar. No, I think Rembrandt did. I don't know. We'll see a shit ton of them in Amsterdam. It's, yeah, yeah. But um, we'll see. I, I can I say something real quick? Yeah, of course. Well, what I'm saying, is, I, I know, I know what you're saying as far as like they they were affected by society and they were good, right? But what I but what I what I'm sort of saying is like somebody who is expressing who they are without th- the noise of what's around them. W- people, society, politics, they're just they're going to stick to that, to th- to to their imagination. That's what I like to explore because that to me is interesting, you know. Everybody has, I think everybody in some way or another, if you got fucking put under a microscope, you have a mental illness and it's fun to explore that. Sure. And I want to go back to you saying black metal specifically because I feel like a lot of those points. I was going to say that with black metal, the thing is, it's always been about be as ugly, gruesome, scary, dark as possible. And even like, not e- I mean, it fucking paints a picture without thinking about like like a lot of these bands that are getting bashed now that have been bashed for a while about like Nazi imagery or some shit, right? It's like. That's what 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 more eviler picture can you paint than that? You know, sure. like when I when I hear you know Angel of Death by so Swear. Wait, so wait, they're not being true to themselves though. If they're trying to do the showman thing, yeah, yeah, or it'd be as you know outlandish as yeah, yeah, but as but, gruesome but I, as you can. That's but, not a true but representation. Think, but, I, but I'm saying like with comedy, you stick to the art of being funny. Like, have you heard about this whole? Uh, I think Chris mentioned it. The whole Nanette thing. Maybe the, the trailer. Know. Yeah, yeah. There's like the, there's a long story short. There's an Australian. Uh, quote unquote comedi- comedian who she's this lesbian chick yes who is uh, she like had a whole special that's pretty much fucking spoken word sure but she calls and it comedy and a shitload of comedians ripped on it because they're like this isn't fucking comedy and it isn't and then she made this announcement that like this will be the last show I make because I'm sick of making self degrading co- you know comedy well it's like alright then fuck off like you're not funny then you know sure and, and and it's because you're not sticking to the art. You should. And I mean, I mean, if she said like, "All right," and this is my announcement to do spoken art and stand up for something I believe in, that would be cool. But don't fucking take your issues a, into an art that you're supposed to be funny and not make them funny. And w- and that's what I mean is like, people like yeah, they're not being true to themselves. There's no fucking veterans in Metallica or Slayer who sing about war all the time. Mm. But I, but I think they stick to the art of paint pa- painting. The most perfect fucking picture, like old Metallica, like nothing else matters or Unforgiven, like that shit. I wouldn't call that black metal though. No, no, not black metal. But I was saying just in like, 
Nothing else matters. Not what I know that I mean. Wait, how how does that song go, Ross? Nothing else matters. <laughs> oh, okay. Every day is the same. Okay. I think you need to make a Sinatra version of that song. Or a Dino Bosco, I mean, version of that. I'm going to get there. <laughs> Any, yeah, you are going to get there. You're on your second 40, almost done. Anyways, point that I was trying to make is you got all these people hammering shit into these black metal bands saying that you need to stop about this, stop about this. I mean, there's all the, like... There's about three bands that I read about who, because people posted shit about, oh, they're anti-Muslim. And then you read about it. The, I like to read both sides. And they're like, that song, did you see that? That song also mentions anti-Christian, anti-Jewish, anti-Buddhist. This song is about. It sounds like Ross. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? No, well, well, this song is about fucking all religion to hell. And you just focused on that little Muslim thing. You're not standing up for the Jews. Wait, are you talking about Angel of Mercy or did you? Or oh, no, no, Angel was, of Death. Rather? No, no, I'm talking about like just this random article that I read about this okay. black metal band, you know. And it's just like they they're like fuck you. I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna keep making dark, crazy fucking music. And some people need to be put in that place. To me, it's relaxing. I don't know. I it's really weird. The more I used to listen to shit like. I don't Corn, know. Limp Bizkit. No, no, I mean like Ray, Radiohead or Pink Floyd or even, you know, ambient stuff to relax. Mm-hmm. And I still do. But lately, I, I relax when I listen to like this scary shit. I don't know. It's It goes along. The vibrations go along with my blood pulse. You sure. Know, it's scientific. Right. It's good release. So I don't know. Do you get what I mean by that or no? Yeah. Can I put my input? No. Okay. All right. I absolutely 100% agree with what you said. That you hate Muslims? No. Oh. Art is art. And these people that protest about about black metal bands mm. are reading too much into the lines. These people, some of the black metal artists are, yeah, they hate Christians. So do I. I hate all religions. You, you know what I think is, you, 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 you know what I think is funny though, that I bet you if some like really petty little bitch fact checker tried to check like actual black metal lyrics i bet you like none of them are historically accurate because they're just making shit oh what can i write that is scary you know yeah, I just and, and, and that would be a good way to call them out but it's just like that's the picture you're trying to paint is how i was saying about angel of death when i hear that first scream and then you you hear those lyrics it's like dude that puts you in a fucking concentration camp you know what i mean i can do it almost don't all right I, I can't get that high. No, no, let's all right, let's hear it. Let's see how high you get. I can't do it. No, that was pretty good. Do you want to try it again? It's it's your turn, Bill. I don't I don't know the song. Oh, okay. Should I I can I know I don't like it. You said you, you don't like it? Yeah, not a fan. Of what? Uh, of like Slayer. Slayer in general. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah, because yeah. you didn't like you don't come uh, for Slayer for that or that. farewell. Yeah. Uh, well, well you know, I I came like you know I went, but yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. for Slayer. Yeah, yeah, you didn't come for it was Slayer. Kind of for Slayer, like oh, it's their farewell tour. You well, know? so so what's your you were about to say something like, do you get what I'm saying though? Like sticking true to that art, like not letting outside influences affect that. Sure, and I think it probably feeds off of all the criticism. Like that. Yeah, yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? Like, Are you kidding me? Yeah, every time. I mean, I mean, there's you've heard, you've heard about these bots online. That there's just like a shitload of fake like left accounts who make like an event that like say they make some I don't know Antifa protest and then there's a shitload of fake right accounts who purposely schedule a fucking like you know pro Confederate mu- uh, statue protest right next to it just so there's conflict. Sure. So it's so it's the same thing like it just it throws fighting doesn't do shit. But but, it, but, but well, some people enjoy that art as far as you know musically. You know, fighting gets say? people's attention. What is it? How you say anti- yeah, Antifa? Antifa. What do these people get out of doing what they're doing? So they a- attention out. that their fathers didn't give them, and that social media doesn't. And well, and I'd say the same want. about like the black metal artists. Like, what are they getting out of it? Like, oh, Be- the attention because it's that a, they because want. Because it's a hobby. It's a passion. Yes. That's so how it's a passion to just do, be obnoxious. I. Your words, not mine. The, this is so. So, when you contribute to something like art and make music, like you're, you actually you need talent for that. 
mm-hmm. to be somebody who just bitches about shit, you, that's not a talent. No. Un- unless you value bitching as a talent. Well, it isn't. It isn't. And this is what I problem. These people don't make a lot of money in Black Meadow. And we saw Wonton Mayhem. And once again, your mic is an intrinsic. Yes. Okay, we saw Wonton Mayhem. And we're going to see Why don't you move the scent? Killing me, Phil. All right? I'm trying to get a point here. We've seen the Black Meadow bands. Well, no right? one's going to hear it. <laughs> yes. And, and um, we're going to see Doc. So move Memphis. it a little bit more. Phil, I, I think they can hear me. Okay. You think these people well, just are. Just a little bit more. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right. You think these people are millionaires? No. No. You think they have a right to to, to, uh, to show their art and their music? Yeah. The way they I, want. Everybody does. Wait, yeah. you don't know how well they're doing financially. They're, they're probably doing well. And they're and because they're even more controversial, they're doing very well. Yeah. But I but I but I, I know what you're saying. They're not doing it for the money. They're doing they they didn't start off for the money. They started off because they're fucking having fun yeah. and have passion for that. You know you know a coworker of mine said, the only way you can make money is is to sell out and and do what the fans want. And and I absolutely wanted to say, fuck you. You you have no idea what you're saying. Well, she if doesn't. They, she grew up in the sixties, seventies. No, she. 60s, 70s, like, oh, I, it's the best fucking music. And now she listen to B96, which half of those have no soul and no passion. Yeah, yeah. It's like, fuck you. For some people, it has soul and passion, though. But to me, it just sounds like a bunch of fucking garbage. Different and you sound for different folks, you man. And you sound like me in high school right now. And let's turn. <laughs> oh! <that> anyway, <laughs> no, no. Wait, wait, no, let's turn that towards Antiva, though. Like, I don't know. People are passionate about shit, and it's not no your but place the, to but say like, "Oh, their passion is stupid." It's not stupid. Passionate it's about violence. passionate about what though? That this didn't exist. Like, it wasn't blown up. Like, like what is it passionate about? I don't know. Uh, it's passionate about conflict. Whatever. It, well, if that's what they're passionate about, then it's their passion. And who are we to say? It's not valid. Also, I don't know. I feel like they feel like they're doing a good job. You know, they're doing what's right for society. Just like the, the black same. metal artists J- thinks they're doing what's right for, you know, their perspective. No, and FIFA is going by what ben, Bernie Sanders okay. says. Okay, here's the difference. Well, I guess I think I know what you're saying about how they express themselves. And I guess the way I would agree with you is, so... A musician, no matter what music, they express whatever feelings they have, whether it's, okay, I'm in a cold-ass fucking country and there's nothing to do and walk through the woods, I'm going to sing about Satanism, or it's maybe a rapper like Kendrick Lamar from the ghetto who I'm going to rap about the good times in the in the old hood. That's how they express their feelings. And some people who have no musical talent, who are average Joes, such as Antifa, such as skinheads, such as maybe even uh, white, su- yeah, yeah, definitely white supremacists. These are people who are like, I'm an angry person. I don't know how to positively express this, so I'm going to choose these people. That's that's what I see. Well, and does it make a difference what their motivation is? Well, uh, no, no, I like it. It's funny to me. You know, so yeah. there, that's so we're going back to comedy now. Yeah, the, uh, comedy and black metal hand in hand. It's it, it's throw. It, it, w- most people do not see it that way, and it's throwing. It's. Just, no. that's awesome. I don't even think it's a that big of a deal. I don't think it's that big so of a deal. So you didn't get pissed off. We're, we're, the only thing that I am, like I said, anecdotally, the only thing I got pissed off was that Taki's show yes, got that canceled. Was that, <laughs> that was the biggest fucking thing that pissed me off. Yes. And now I'm waiting for them to come back because little bitch Antifa is gonna b- complain about something. Did the people that got tickets get refunds? Yeah, we did get. Re- okay, you that's cool. You, it was, it happened before we got yeah, tickets. you didn't get tickets. I d- I have I still have the ticket upstairs. Oh, you told me to get tickets, and then and then it happened. Then uh, okay. That was that uh, was at, right uh, right after every time you die show actually one day after. Mm. I don't I don't remember. I do. This happened well, like a year ago, Phil. I don't remember this. I I don't. Well, to answer your earlier question, Ross, uh, two of the bands that I've really been into for uh, like quite some time, and I just can't let go, you know, much like you and Slipknot, I'd say Aerosmith was like the first band I really got into as a yeah. kid, and like I've liked them ever since then. Mm-hmm. I don't listen to them as much, but I still yeah. have like a soft spot. 
Like, I can't really listen to ACDC anymore. I can't really you can? listen. I cannot. You don't like ACDC? Like, I used to really like it. I used to yeah. be all about that classic rock, but, like, going back to it, it's like, eh, it's okay. I, I, lo- I, I think I know what you... I'm not, that, I'm not at that level yet with ACDC, but I am definitely at that level with Led Zeppelin. Sure. Because I loved Led Zeppelin a lot. Man, and I heard... Uh, I don't know if it was how the West was won, but an album came on at the bar yesterday, and I was like, "Oh my God, Led Zeppelin is so good." I had a moment, um, but I can see, you know, like how many times can you listen to Black Dog before it gets, yeah, like too many times, yeah, um, and to the point where I'm all I always mix up Black Dog with Whole Lot of Rosie, not Whole Lot of Rosie, uh, Whole Lot of Love, yeah, Whole Lot of Love, <laughs> yeah, that's. So. You want you want to know a funny, funny. Well, are are, are, are we done with the whole our, our that, debate? I, that, I, I didn't well, I don't know. I was going back to the earlier topic. I just, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, no. I I mean, I'm just saying that some people express that positively, like you do. Maybe you, may you, all comedians, most comedians, I would say it's proven that like eighty percent. Are usually like depressed or going <laughs> substance some abusers. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. and that, and then, and they. I mean, d- don't you agree? Mm-hmm. And and so that's how they positively express it, because they have the talent to do it. You know, by word. And some people, you know, I don't know. You you riot for no reason. I mean, I don't. Whatever, whatever. Like, beca- here's what I'm saying: is here's they the can't other- say for no reason. They obviously have a reason. Well, the reason they're is they're just not like. Well, I don't have anything ju- to do today. Yeah, but it's just I don't, I don't know. It's it's sh- stuff that I got over in fucking high school when I wanted to fucking oh look at that Rage Against Machine video. It's taped you, you know at Occupy Wall Street. I wish I could do that. And then you get out and you're like, well, that's not really the way shit works in this world. You know, you can't one one little person can't change anything anymore. And not may, with may, that attitude. And maybe there isn't any. In, maybe there's more information that I'm not getting because I'm getting only biased information. And maybe I'm just an angry person. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't think you're an angry p- person. I think you. I'm not talking about. <laughs> <laughs> right, I disagree. Anyways. I think you are an angry person. I dis- yeah. I, I think you're not. You know. You know what I, 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 I? Since we're talking about music, like to end it off. You know, it's a funny um thing I heard on a fucking podcast recently. What? Are you? S- yeah. I uh, I was um. I was I was listening to Jeff Ross has his own podcast. It's oh, called nice. uh, Roast in Peace. Okay. I don't know if it's recent. I think it is, but each episode he roasts anybody who died. I don't know if died. it's roastent. Yeah, I don't that know if it's roastent. That roastent. <laughs> sorry. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Dead comedians. Oh yeah. Well, no, they're talking about recent deaths. Mm. Like, and and the thing that's funny is like sometimes they pick the most recent death and they might not even know shit about that person mm-hmm. which is awesome because it kind of shows them how like witty and quick they are like don rickle style I don't like know. us yeah exactly yeah we showed off our roasting <laughs> skills earlier and you, you know they were roasting i guess so uh, last year the anal cunt guitarist josh martin have you heard about this Mm-mm. have you ross but he's an anal cunt he's in the band anal cunt okay and he pulled a fill because i did this Sort of did this, but he uh, he r- did a running start to an escalator at a mall and then jumped onto the railing with his ass, and then he flipped backwards and landed on his head on a cafeteria table and killed. He got mm. killed. What? Yeah, he died. You done that? And, no, no, no. I, I, I did a running start, ran onto the escalator, go, went full speed down it, and then I broke my ankle at the bottom <laughs> because I, like, I tried to land on my feet uh, like – not forward. Wait, I, is it an up escalator? Is it a down escalator? A down escalator. A down, and you're at the top. Yeah. So both of us. Yeah. Okay. So you take a running start and just leap. Yeah, you leap and then you land on your with your ass on the railing and then you slide all the way down. Got you. Okay. And um, yeah, this guy. And but the thing that made me laugh my ass off was that they were reading the article and it said, "quote unquote." Police do not believe it was an intentional suicide at this point. Like, <laughs> like I, I, I could totally picture some kind of metalhead. Yeah, this is how I'm going to. All right, so I'm going to start here. I'm going to start at this line run, and then I'm going to land at this angle on my fucking head. You know? Do you know where he was? I, do, I don't remember. They were on tour, and they had to cancel the tour, and they were in some. Uh, I mean, it was like a shopping mall. mall? Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't hey, know. Hey, guys, watch this. Yeah. Uh, man, that's a shame. 
Anal, yeah, yeah. anal cunt was one of the good ones. Were, were they? I don't know. I don't know. It's Either. all the same. Yeah. You know, anal cunts, cattle decapitation, dying fetus. Yeah. They all kind of. Why you want to go see dying fetus and, and white chapel then if they're all the same? Because they're not all the same. That, because Bill invited me and he's my friend. Yeah. But we're going to have fun. And they are all the you, same. You, you know what was funny that I remember not, r- r- uh, randomly now? I used to, uh, when I was a child, and I used to, w- this is like when I was in grammar school, we used to go to church every Sunday. Mm-hmm. Then after church, we'd beg my mom to go to Pizza Hut by the Harlem Irving Mall. Nice. And they had some awesome fucking, they had everything there was awesome. The coin machines, they had, you know, the yeah, little dude. homies. Anal cunt playing on the radio. Dude, I was going to say, so I went on the jukebox, and I tried to look for something cool to play. And the f- this was so goofy because I would watch music videos, but I would watch it on like, do you remember the box? Yeah, Fox Box. No, it it was like a, it was mostly like R and B and black music because you had to call in and request it to play. It was it was it was basically like non cable MTV. Okay. They played music videos all day, but you had to call in and request them. So sometimes, like I don't know, fucking boys to men just came out of the CD and they're popular, mm-hmm. that video would play like four times yeah. that day, you know? And that's where I heard about ICP. Nice. <laughs> they, they had the worst song overplayed. Wait, let's what? go all the way. <laughs> let's go all the way. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and, and... How was that music video? <laughs> the, 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 it's them walking down and having a parade in a, like, fake suburban town. That's and, pretty and, funny. And, and because it's Let's Go All The Way getting along together... It's a bunch of skinheads dancing with Black Panthers. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah, a message of so, hope from the insane but, clown posse. But uh, so I ended up seeing a video of Stray Cats. You know, mm-hmm. the, the, what's that most popular song? Oh, I, rock uh, this town, rock, rock it this town. town. Yeah, I heard Stray Cats strut. So, so I saw that rockabilly look, and I went to Pizza Hut, and my mom gave me like five bucks. She's like, "You can play five songs," and I was so pumped. I see this video, I'm like. Oh shit! That must be it. This yeah, that totally looks like a greaser. He's in a leather jacket. Five tracks, and you know what I played? The grease soundtrack. Andrew Dice Clay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I sit back down. <laughs> Little Miss Muffet is hey. sat on a tuffet. Hey. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Hey, yeah. use your fucking whatever, bitch. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh man, that's really funny. Uh, how far we've come. Well, uh. What, what do you think about this whole uh, Jussie Smollett shit? We got to talk about that, right? What? <laughs> Who yeah. is Jussie Smollett? You don't know about this? No, of course I don't. Are you serious right now? Dead serious. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you? Do you know Ross? I have no idea who you're talking about. Okay. Wow. Enlighten us. Wow, wow. Well, it's over talked about. That's I didn't want to talk about, but fuck <laughs> it. I want to know your opinions. <laughs> Jussie Smollett, have you, you've seen Mighty Ducks, right? Uh yeah, many many years many, ago. Many many years ago. Do you remember there was the two black kids who were brothers? Yes. Well, one of the brothers is Jussie. And recently he plays a huge well, I mean this isn't that recent. This happened like a month ago, but he pl- he's been playing a part. He his career is back, you know, from Mighty Ducks, and he's playing a guy in um in a a, sh- a show called Empire. I don't okay. I don't yeah. really it's on Fox. Yeah, have you have you watched it? Or you, no, you heard I'm familiar. It? I know coworkers like yeah, that. and you haven't heard about this. Maybe okay. Well, he he went to how how does the story go? So he was wait, is he gay? And did he get beat? Yeah. Okay. He got beat up, and it was considered a hate crime, and he just checked into his hotel after going to a subway, and while he's in the subway and while he's in the hotel, he had a noose around his neck. And he reported a hate crime, right? That he got beat up for being gay and black. Okay. And you still don't know. You haven't heard about this. I mean, vaguely. I don't know the details. I feel and like what do you know? The fun, The reason why I'm going to mention this is because we talked about when I mentioned shit like Maria from my past mm-hmm. or this other, this like SJW shit about how these fake ass fucking victims, he completely faked it and he's going to jail. He paid... 35 i think it was 3500 or 35 grand to two nigerian guys to beat his ass and he wanted to be like some kind of like revolutionary and they 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 asked him they're like why the who the fuck checks into a hotel with a noose around their neck or a subway and they found like and then after this getting all all this publicity 
I, they confessed. So this was completely fucking fake. Or the guys that beat him up? The the whole thing was yeah. fake. He paid them to beat him up. But to beat him up so he can be like this. He, his quote exact was like, you don't understand. This really happened. I'm like the gay Tupac. Gonna, <laughs> that's what he fucking said. Uh, this fucking... So, so the fake... So, so, and the reason why I mention it is like, it's so funny because here's like a huge fucking issue that happened, right? And everybody, all these people who bitch about like Trump or something, didn't talk about it at all on Facebook because they're like, oh no, no, we still care about victims. And it's like, dude, there's this whole group of fake fucks, fake victims. People just want attention right now. You know what happened in Michigan? To, and, and that, and he got- Wait, th- settle down. That shit. You're getting heated. That sh- n- n- I'm not getting hit. I'm just. You're triggered. Getting, dr- getting drooly. <laughs> I'm not triggered. Get out. <laughs> I haven't even reloaded. <laughs> got b- b- right to bear arms. No, but, no. But anyways, um, no. He, it, you know that happened in Chicago too, right? Yeah. And uh, well, you know what happened in Michigan? This is even more fucking hilarious. Speaking about attention horse, like I mentioned before, uh, I think with Cameron is like, listen, if you, I understand. Like, I understand to the best of my capability, it is incredibly hard to do something like like come out or to do something like transition because you don't feel like you're in the right body. But there's, internet has made so many fucking people into attention whores because everybody gets their, fi- literally their 15 seconds of fame now. This guy in Michigan now, after this Jesse Smollett shit, he fucking... So he was in a Michigan neighborhood where I guess was kind of conservative. I guess you could kind of com- like, I don't know, compare to like an all-white neighborhood in Chicago or some shit because Chicago's super segregated, you know. Mm. Made an entire trans community. He wanted to make this community so that he's accepted. And he made this huge community. And guess what? He was accepted because we're cool with it because it doesn't fucking matter. We're happy for you. Well, he got upset that he didn't get that attention, so he set his own fucking house on fire, reported it, and now he's getting like going to jail for for like being a fake victim again. I mean, it's fu- and it, and it keeps popping up. I mean, it's nonstop. It's fucking ridiculous. There's another. I mean, I mean, just yesterday that was like last week. Just yesterday, I read a fucking article that this white chick reported three black guys who raped her. And said that, and wanted to report that as a as a hate crime, and it's and it didn't fucking happen. That's like that's how that's the cool thing now to be a fucking fake victim, you know. Like, and it's fucked up because and like I, you know, the biggest thing, the ultimate conclusion to this is, this fucks it up for all the real victims, doesn't it? No. Sure. I mean, also. So now that I'm not ranting, <laughs> like, what do you guys I think? Don't, what what don't do you think? No. I don't. I have the, I have the no comment. It's too yeah, much. I have no idea what, what uh, to think about this. I'm not surprised, Bill. I'm not. I, I'm. I'm not I'm surprised not, either. I really think people are that fucking stupid and do this shit. Yeah. Yeah. I will not. It, it's like I. I think I'm the complete opposite. I don't like that this kind of shit attention. I yeah. Know, the only reason why I'm on Facebook is to to connect with people I care about or fuck fucking con you know constants. Or shit yeah. Mm. Hmm. Or Instagram, like same same thing. I you know I, I I'm in my thirties. I don't see people, you know, like I used to. So I like yeah. to see pictures. But I, 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 if I'm I'm gonna go this far to get attention. Yeah. Absolutely not. I know this person. He's going all out to be an Instagram model, and she doesn't have. A, Who are you a, talking about now? Nobody you know. I'm trying to say. Is it your sister? No. Mm. Is ex, it your mom? Ex co-worker. Is it Susie? No. Oh. Can I finish what I have to say? Uh, Can you? Okay. She's 21 years old. Nice. Used to be working at Jewel. And she's trying to Is be she hot? Uh, 1 to 10. 7 out of 10. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. But she's doing all out. Have you ever jagged off to her Instagram? No. Okay. Uh. What, can I please finish what I have to say? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Get it out. Um, She wants to be an Instagram model. And make money from what's it called? Uh, Views? Views. I don't know. Yes. Clicks? Snap. Followers? Yeah, followers. Thank you. And she do, she doesn't have the what it takes. Number one. Whoa! She, how do you know she doesn't have what it yeah, takes? Yeah, people have different tastes. She's not tall enough. 
And she puts way too much makeup on. So she looks but people fake. might be into short makeup girls. Well, maybe I'm generalizing a little bit. But my, my, my point being is, why does people have to just get a fucking job, do what, what everybody else does in, in society. And grow stop, the fuck up. And, and stop being a mini hole. Wait, does she have a job? I know she was working for TCF. Okay, so she has a job. But that's like six months ago. Uh, so you're you're saying focus on your job rather than Being this a, this internet attention. Yes. What you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, I do. I get what you're saying, and and I I, I think I come. You know, from, I appreciate sometimes you guys can't make me up an asshole because I do have good intentions when I. Of say course, yeah. we know, yeah. and our listeners know too. Yeah. You've got a kind heart, Ross, I and, and I I I. I as goofy as I do agree with Ross, even if Bill, like, you don't understand. I mean, what, what I'm, what, what the way I, I think what we're both trying to say is, like, you know, like, for example, this podcast. Why am I doing this shit? I keep talking about talent and shit. I know I'm not comedically talented. But the way I feel, like, somebody out there might, this might make them a happier day listening sure. to these goofy-ass fucking stories, you know? Right. And so are this, we any different than the 21-year-old dreamer instagram model are we I don't know. are I mean, we that different well well i i, I would I, say I, no i think i think we're different because we're not desperate for it and I that and that and the and, and these people who are like fake victims or 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 being obnoxious they're de- that's that's a disparity disparity i completely like pity you know what i mean sure like well, like people take a always step back want attention at, that's not a new phenomenon yeah yeah the only absolutely. thing that's changed are the media in which they can, you know, yeah. expose themselves. So, I uh, come in here to be entertaining. Be I mean, and, and, and you, you succeed. And, I, and, and, you know, hang out with my friends. I'm not doing it this, going into a, some creepy-ass, you know, stalker claiming that he's a professor, you know, photopus and going all the way to Rockford. That's what this goes <laughs> Professor going to Rockford? <laughs> what? <laughs> all the way to to they be a know. creepy professor? No, no, not no. Creepy photographs of her. Oh, I see. Trying to make her a lot more sexy than she To is. a creepy professor. No, photograph. Taking pictures. Oh. A creepy photographer. Yes. In yeah. I Rockford. just started picturing her That's getting like ass fucked by a test no, tube. No, no, it's a book. <laughs> saying, oh, yeah, I, I'm taking, I, I think you have te- good looking, you know? I can take a picture of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I mean, you guys know. Bill probably knows my my fucking model face, right? No, I, I, don't know this. I, I can admit this, well, you and you're gonna rip me. No, no, this happened before I even knew you guys. You think you're so pretty, did, did Mr. I, did ladies, I you, man? Did I tell you about this, Bill, or no? I, mean, I did. Dude, this is so fucking bad. Oh my god! All right, let's. You're gonna rip me a new asshole, but I, I don't. I don't give no, a shit. No, it's a Everything's safe space. On the table. We're fine. Every, what about this girl I used to be like that I less respect her us because she's trying to be Instagram? You know? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I no, I, I completely. I mean, I don't know, Bill. Would you want a fucking girlfriend who's like taking chill? Is like obsessed with putting her photo on Instagram? I, I think it'd be hard to date somebody like that. I don't know. It depends on the person. Because I feel like I'm pretty removed from all that anyway. So I have a hard time understanding people that have an Instagram. Yeah. Well, I think it takes away. From spending time together, uh, I, you know. But I mean, Kelly knows what we're doing down here, but we're doing com- comedy. Shit. She doesn't know what we're doing down here. No. She, th- she thinks we're like Bible study, know, yeah. melting down a body in a barrel. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you boys have fun. Anyways, speaking of melting a body down in a barrel, so keep on topic. You're talking about uh, modeling or something. Oh yeah, yeah. You're no, you modeling. Model- no, okay. So here's what happened. And and honestly, it's a little bit sad, but I'm uh, oh. but I can laugh it off. No, it's okay. it's because right. dude, no, okay. So as you guys long as know, you can laugh it off. You guys know, like you're my, beautiful. My whole fucking life, I did not fit in with anybody. I never fucking fit in. It was like, all right, so I'm a fucking Polish kid who doesn't speak English. I try to fit in. I'm not fitting in. They're, they they well, make fun of me. You had Giancarlo. And, yeah, yeah. Let's shit on tables together. You know. <laughs> Anyways. 
so and, and, and then it's like you know uh later on it's like okay so we both like wrestling or something but then i'm i'm still like the weird kid you're fucked you're a little bit too fucked up for us i could never fit in. even like when i got into metal it was like yeah you like that but you like it for different reasons that we do you're not you're not cool you know like i could never fit in any fucking group so i kind of just always stuck to myself and i ended up dating like like i was like so desperate to have a girlfriend i finally dated started dating this chick and she was like you'd look better in this you'd look better in this you'd look better in this and she literally gave me a whole fucking makeover like i shaved my face got a polak polak fucking blowout like poly d style and nice i had like polo shirts and khaki and 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 then some random fuck downtown walked up to me and he's like yo you could be a model for us i'm like what are you talking about man like is this is, I'm, I'm just doing this to get laid that's a nice polo those yeah. are great khakis that's a nice polo on a polak <laughs> 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 no. anyways so he uh it, um i was part of the polo gang with buddha g you know <laughs> <laughs> anyways so i uh I, so i i took the card i'm like oh fuck i mean i'm not into this but if it makes extra money, why not? Sure. So I went to this company, spent and like six hundred dollars. Headshots. Headshots. Yeah, and they and they they're like, all right, well, we want sports headshots, and I had like a track suit with a basketball. <laughs> they had me do that, and and, and I'm like, dude, this is I I, I finally, because you know this is like fucking fifteen years ago, so like reviews were finally coming out for companies that you could review mm-hmm. a company online, and I'm like, everybody. better business bureau, and yeah, nothing but scam, 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 like. So were yeah. they in the city? Yeah. Were they like downtown, downtown? Yes. Were they on like Wellington or Wells? Yes, yes. Over by like mm-hmm. the McDonald's by Chicago Union Station. Top models. Uh, I don't remember the name, but I had a friend who did something like very similar. Like you'll be a star. Give yeah, us money yeah. for headshots, and we'll send you leads. Yeah. Complete bullshit. Don't. Yeah. But I but I love it now because of who I am now, and then I push that as like a profile what, picture. Is that on your resume? Oh wait, you in the tracksuit? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, with this Polish blowout and a fucking, you know, pearly whites. <laughs> Hello, do you like to share some classy kielbasa with me? You know, but yeah. So speaking of uh, melting someone down in a barrel, <laughs> but no, I, I I wanted to mention that this. I, I thought this was fucking hilarious. I um, I told you guys how I love uh, true crime all the time with Gibby. That's right. I I I heard I read I like heard about this random killer. This is recent. And this was fucking, like, talk about, like, all these serial killers that I listened to. This was, like, the most Do morbid. Do you listen to a lot of serial killers? Yeah. Okay. The, the serial killer podcast? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone loves it. Is that actually a podcast? Yeah. To- actually, you know what's funny about that is um, some guy talking about how uh, it's funny how, like, a shitload of, like, how a, a crap load of feminists hate on how, like, violent men are in like toxic masculinity but like that's like the biggest uh <laughs> listener percentage is women to serial killer things sure but so, um and and and, and the, the other funny thing is too that like a lot of these serial killers when they go to jail they get married because like f- like hundreds of women show up and they want to fuck them in jail because they're like he's evil and that turns me on you know so i don't know i j- but Besides the point, I don't know what tangent I'm fucking. So going recently, off of. recently, there was a serial killer. Have you heard of? I haven't heard of this. Robert Picton. No, sounds so, like a go-getter, dude. This guy, I, I guess. I guess it was. So first of all, Instagram model. Not Instagram model. Not a Polish person with a blowout for a model company either. But he was. Um, it was. It was crazy for like three reasons. One, because it was recent. Because there's not a lot of serial killers like now. You know what I mean? Like or. What would, Maybe they just don't tell you about them. Yeah, man. You know? But I, anyway. I, I think they all... I want to know if Big Bully B ever gets out of control. I disagree with what, what you just said, Bill. I think they all sell codes. I think they're more smart nowadays. They're more smart. I, I think it's harder to be smart nowadays. With DNA and everything is under surveillance. Mm-hmm. Are you kidding? I think it's a way a lot harder. I mean, I watch like... I don't know. Point is, like, I think what, what was like the most recent one that we could think of is like maybe like a school shooting, you know? But besides that, like a creepy, I don't know. Anyways, point is this guy. So one reason why it was fucked up was because it was actually fuck. They could confirm around like 49 bodies. But Jesus. But, but non-confirmed was like over 100. 
Because what happened is, so that's the second reason why it's fucked up. The third reason why it's fucked up, because they're like, everybody knows like the most serial killers are known in America because Americans are violent and crazy. This guy was in Canada. And so he like beat the world. He beat like the record, not just for Canada. <laughs> oh, the Guinness Book of World Record for, for killing. Yeah. yeah, good for him. No, but, but well, well, th- he beat. So they said that he beat the highest deaths in Canada not North nice. America too, but because but that's because they could not confirm. Because here's what happened: they thought he was mentally challenged. He he worked. His whole family were like millionaires who owned different farms, right? And he owned. Uh, he ran. They had him run like a pit, pig farm, and he okay. he would like you know slaughter pigs all day, and then he would like I guess they sell off like anything that they don't want to like companies that make sausages you know like any of the shit that isn't really like that's not pork yeah he sells off and like out of nowhere like all these women started disappearing Uh over and over and over and over and over again and the crazy thing about (laughs) the thing that made me (laughs) i don't don't know why this made me laugh my ass off but it's it's kind it's bizarre but it's kind of fucking it's funny because it's bizarre he they found a shotgun with a di- black dildo as a silencer, ooh! So, he, so, so he'd use the dildo and then blow the person to bits. But the thing that was funny was it said we also found his DNA on this. So, so he, he'd like, all right, before I shoot you in the vag, I gotta fuck myself a little bit, you know? Sure. So, so wait, he would use the dildo as a dildo, yeah. on the victim, I, on himself too. And well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do they know before or after? No, no, they did not okay. determine that. Okay. So, but you know what they Science did? Science has only come so far. Yeah, yeah. And 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 you know what was the thing? The way they described it about how like, you know, you walk into like a warehouse, like a like a FedEx warehouse, or like even though like a, the welding sh- place yeah. I work at, yeah, it's usually pretty organized. I mean, like a welding shop has a shitload of dust and and harmful air than a FedEx place, but it's organized. You know, you can see through there. They were talking about his place like it was a fucking Dawn of the Dead movie. Like there's just blood and guts and meat all over spewed everywhere. Human or so, pig? So both that they couldn't they couldn't really determine. And and the thing that was so so this whole thing gets out. They put him in jail and everything. Afterwards they find out what's crazy is so he kept he had this company that would take all all the shit, all the bones yeah. and all the fucking like mm-hmm. Whatever intestines, shit. That hey, don't this eat. doesn't look like a pig skull. <laughs> exactly. So what they found out is th- his place was the most popular independent pork seller in that town of like whatever, say twenty thousand people. Meaning, in that town, a lot of those people probably ate their relatives. Oh. Is, is, is that fucking crazy? That's so uh. fucking twisted. Shit. Right. <laughs> I'm way off, dude. Even I can say that's fucking evil. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Sounds pretty black metal. Right? That's more than black metal. That's, that's yeah. That's, that's, that's death core. Cannibal corpse sausages. You know. that's, no, that's serial killer metal. Yeah, it is. Macabre. That I'm going to call in to uh, True Crime all the time and tell them about Macabre. I'm not joking. Do it. Because they run their voicemails. I'm, I'm, I'm still debating on whether I should uh, tell Gibby how ridiculous he is. That. No, he <laughs> knows. No, leave the man alone. All right. He's well, a friend of the podcast. We yes. respect him. Do you remember when you hated him? No, you I mean, to, when you first met Gibby, when he when first I met entered, him, when he entered your life. Yes. You know, you weren't a fan. I was not. A, no, no, I was not a fan. And see, I'll be honest. There's hope. Redemption. There's hope. Who's this guy? Gibby. The, you know, Gibby. It's a, it's a serial killer podcast. So I don't listen to the podcast, man. Really? Well, what, uh, what about uh, hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing? Okay, that's the only podcast like. Yeah, all right. whatever. <laughs> We've got one listener. Are all 500 that's downloads from you? No. Do you, do you, do you <laughs> spread the word? I do my best. Who do you sp- who'd you spread the word to? I talked to people. All those shitty fucking let, let me tell customers. You. So who? I don't like the fact that. I, Have I you told Stubbs? <laughs> no. It's not his name. Okay. <laughs> That's his code name. Yeah. It's code name. Yeah. We're talking code here. We got some business <laughs> on the side. Yeah, that's right. To be honest with you, I would love those people to watch it. 
But as I'd you, love it if that mic was close to your face. So. <laughs> Phil, I would love to <laughs> yes. do this, but as Bill thinks, mm-hmm. uh, other people would might think, I love your death. You're but, all, but one of my best friends. But, but I am worried about people thinking you all pick. You will be picking on me. And that's <gasps> true. What? People are not gonna understand. Dude. You. So, and I'm ready to my, I'm ready to defend myself at any moment. Don't understand that I'm evil. Your humor, your personality. Hemo, humor. Oh, humor. I'm sorry. I do. What is a hemophiliac? I heard that word recently. Hemophilia is a disease where your blood doesn't clot well, so you're oh, okay, okay. like really easily bruised. That's an ADD thought. But no, <laughs> no. I've explained many times that we've yeah. been in friends for yeah, many I years. Know, but a lot of so. people are not gonna understand that. It, well, fuck other. Do, do you think they have long-lasting friends? No. I mean, you know, you know, Phil. I love you, Def. Uh, I'm just thinking about our friendship. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. I gotta tell you guys. We gotta t- recommend two movies. All right. All right. Uh, could I guess? What? The first one is obviously going to be. Fuck. I can't remember the movie you said that made you cry. What? Oh, Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> Brokeback Mountain, recommendation number one. No. Uh, no? Oh. No, no. Well, no, no. I was going to say about reason. I guess, is it okay to review these two Actually, movies? I just saw the awesome, you talking about Sui Ko, I saw the um, when Jeffrey Dahmer yeah. was a kid. Mm. And I, I wanted to do this all, 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 all day. You, you know there's a funny-ass comedy cartoon called My Friend Dahmer? About somebody yes, who that's what it is. That's oh what yeah, it is. yeah, yeah. He, when he was a kid, um, his mom was doing um, we making this house after she came out of the mental institute. Yeah, and he he saw his uh, I might offend some people. Sorry, his uh, the um, directed designer. What's it called? Was somebody who we de- this somebody house? Uh, we like decorate someone's interior house? design yes. or interior yeah, yeah. has. So is it palsy? Cerebral palsy. Okay. Yeah. The first thing we saw when he saw it, he... Ooh, yeah. Ooh. And he met some of these um, other people. He kept on doing it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He kept on doing it, and they kept on taping him. Who kept doing that? His friends. No, Jeffrey Diamond kept on doing this. Oh, okay. He, he kept pretending that he had cerebral yes. palsy? Okay. He kept on doing it. Kept on so kind of like Trump's awesome, you know, impersonation. Oh, did he do one? <laughs> Dahmer did better. Dahmer did it better. But the thing is, vote for Dahmer 2020. That's right. Um, May he rest in peace. I can't say that, but it'll work out because that's when uh, you know, human, uh, lab-grown human meat will come out. You know. My thing is, what I I, I found out it was so true and so accurate that I saw the two different actors, the young Jeffrey Dahmer and the guy who played him was yeah. so a dang though, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I got to tell you, looks and job done, I love Dahmer the best. He looks fucking attractive as hell, and he, he he's fucking crazy. But he was a fuck. He was Have you ever listened to the Macabre album that's Dahmer? No. Which it, one was it? I I'm, this is what I'm going to tell True Grandma all the time. Have you ever heard it, No, Bill? no of course it not. It is fucking hilarious if you if you like dark humor because it tells chronologically the jeffrey Dahmer story so it's because because he like i forgot where he first uh i think he lived in milwaukee and then like when he's ohio. done it was ohio oh so when he got done killing people there he moved to chicago because uh i i think it was something like he was uncomfortable because he started realizing that he's homosexual too and then, like, so, so the next song is, "We'll be coming to Chicago when he comes. He'll be coming." And 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 then, like, the lyrics are so blunt and layers. He'll be, uh, he'll be giving a queer beer when he comes. He'll be, fu- be giving a queer beer, fucking a queer's rear. Like, it's absolutely hilarious. Or, or then, and then it goes to like when he's melting on the bodies, rub a dub dub three men in a tub. Like, it's. Absolutely hilarious, but a- a- anyways, um, for everyone but the victims. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, any anyways, um, I watched recently that I thought was pretty goofy. Um, well, no, there was one part that made me laugh my ass off. I uh, I never really got into uh, was uh, Casey Anthony. Have you y- you guys you guys haven't heard her? Nope. She was the. <clears throat> I think it I think it happened like when I was in high school so like when you guys were starting high school it was she she was like a I fucking you, so be emo- Yeah well well she was a fucking like party girl 
in the in like 2007 or something. Did she get kidnapped or She no no, she had a baby that was unplanned and her pa- her family was like a normal middle class family, but her family didn't like that she like she didn't want to li- she was a huge party or she was like a fucking rave broad, you know, like she just liked to fuck everybody and go partying and get drunk every night, you know. Sure. So she um she had this baby and she, uh I think something happened where, like, the mom said, you have to keep it, you have to keep it, because, like, you know, parents are obsessed with having grandchildren. And so uh, she's like, well, no, I don't want to. I'm not, like, I I don't even love this guy. And she, like, kind of made her. And then eventually um, she wanted to, she met a guy who she was, like, in love with, but then he was, like, not really happy that she had a child, so she fucking killed the kid. And she never got convicted of it. She got away free. Did you hear about this or no? You don't remember this? No, I'm this? trying to... So I she, feel like I'm getting confused with someone who's in a coma with like a feeding tube. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Know. Anyway. That was a soft talk episode. No, and, and how do you... Yeah, Casey, oh, like how predictable. She's from Florida. All the crazy shit happens yeah. there. But no, no, she... um, Her story was that she was chilling in the living room and they had one of those, you know, the redneck pools that not the in in ground pools the one that are like uh wood plate on the outside and it's out you know mm-hmm. six feet high they had a stairway to it and that the kid crawled up to it fell in drowned and she didn't know what to do with it so she like like she she didn't know what to do and and sh- she got rid of it in the woods but what happened is like I think what like what actually happened is they I mean they found all this evidence like they had she was she bought the strongest potent chloroform put it on a rag taped it to the kid's mouth they found both her and the kid's DNA on the tape and then the reason how they found out was cuz the mom called the cops that her Pontiac Trans Am was smelling like a fucking dead body and when she opened the trunk there was just this this fucking like splotch of blood the size of a child and yeah none of this convicted that that casey anthony did it like i, I think we need to end the podcast on this because it's just getting way too much why what are you talking get the fuck out of here you're gonna interrupt me like that <laughs> no anyways so she uh so what ha- and then casey anthony's excuse was it was just oh, so here's what's funny i'm watching this documentary and that you know how like when they like like we were talking about before when they uh kind of like remake the scenes sure shit, like the yeah and they're interviewing like the this dramatized detective. they're interviewing the detective then they're interviewing the attorney then they're interviewing the defendant you know so they're interviewing the <laughs> so they so they're talking about the old pizza and they go Wait, to the old pizza about about that she said that it's that it was an old pizza that was in the trunk that it wasn't a baby that caused the splotch okay and it's it's really goofy because first they go to like the local pizzeria no no they they the mom gave the uh car to forensics and there was like a guy who i forgot what, like that's a mortician right who deals with dead bodies or the the morgue guy or, or whatever mm-hmm. he's cutting out uh layers of the carpet and he's finding dna in there and he's like listen even before i took the tests i know that that smells like a dead body and then immediately they cut to a really fat sweaty obese detective going i know a lot about pizzas and that was not an old pizza <laughs> you know, right like what the fuck? so i'm the department's that, that, expert that, that, on pizza there was the comic relief with that and yeah so she's still alive and like under witness protection somewhere i don't know um, whatever life is strange life is strange i think it's a good sign when a guest on the podcast recommends Can't handle we them. end the podcast. <laughs> yeah, this is getting like way too graphic. Too graphic? Too graphic for Ross. Yes, and that says a lot. You want to... Let's cut it How there, How do you then. feel right now? I feel good. Ross feels good. About the graphicness? How do you feel about the graphicness? That, I want to know. That sick. That, that's fucking sick in that cell. I, I, I just don't know what to say. But when, when I hear about that, it's just like... Okay. I understand. And I and I love black metal. I love everything evil, but that's the most evilest shit I heard since. It, yeah, yeah. I'm it's, sorry. That's just. It's pretty black metal. That's more well, no, black metal is about the occult. Yeah. That's pretty death metal. 
Oh, I'm gonna be one of those petty my fucking yeah. little guys. Mm. Well, actually, that's stoner. It's actually great. That's so yeah. fucking stupid. It's not deathcore. It's horrorcore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that's just disgusting. I'm sorry. You don't do that. It's disgusting core. Yeah. We would discuss core. Yes. So. Well, we will discuss core more on the next episode. Yeah. Exactly <laughs> right. So. so uh oh shit! I was gonna review two movies. So. Oh, we're ah. No, no. The, it's it's kind of ah. Uh, Nah, save it for next time. All right, all right. Uh, or all right. maybe we could do like a special bonus feature. Bonus? Yeah, like, yeah I, I, this, I didn't think of Weevil. Done. Like, Ross hates us. No, I don't hate you. After that, I just think of Weevil. That is just, wow, that was graphic. And I, I never say that. Give me five minutes. We're ti- I was going to say. I know, I know, it, I know it's the piss, you fucking asshole. Yeah. I know it's the piss, and you're gonna hold it in. I told you not to drink. You're gonna fucking hold it in, and it's disgusting. Yeah, you're drinking that much. It's too graphic that you're drinking that much. All right. Point let's is, stop. Let, you should. Right. Do, do you like zombie movies, Bill? Eh, who doesn't? Well, have you ever heard of Deathgasm? No. That okay. no, that I can hold it. that that shit is fucking hilarious. That shit is fucking hilarious. You sh- you I highly recommend it. It's about four. Long story short, it's a New New Zealand movie, so it's got a little bit of like. Sure. So Kelly loves it. Yeah. Well, well, I tricked her into watching it. She didn't love it because it's too graphic for. <laughs> but no, no, it, it's. But got, is it too graphic for Ross? Probably not. I mean, I mean, no. It's got it's got like a you know what I mean like the flood of the Concords like type of humor mm-hmm. and, and I love it. It's four kids who listen to black metal, who are going to high school and they get picked on and all this shit. And they don't know how to make the perfect band, so they find like there's like this epic black metal band, you know, like what would be considered like mayhem in you know our world or whatever. And the guy is like the singer's known to sleep in this abandoned warehouse, mm-hmm. so they steal his notes, and because it's like some you know epic fucking occult way of summoning a demon is what the is what his song notes are. And then they start playing it, and everybody starts turning into s- killer zombies. Oh, and uh, they have to go around and kill all these zombies. And it's incredibly funny how gory it is. It's real dark, like metalhead humor. Like they mm-hmm. be- they beat a they beat like a like they b- beat a f- few zombies to death with dildos. Or sure, with a of course. Gun. I don't know. It, it's it's a good movie. But is there DNA on the dildos? No, there isn't. It's I more know. compared to Dawn of the Dead to Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Shaun of the Dead. If you like Shaun of the Dead, you'll like Deathgasm. Nice. All right. Deathgasm. How many stars? Uh, Ten? uh, Out of ten? Uh, Seven. Seven. All right. Seven out of ten. That's a pretty... Now, recently what came out, because we're going to be talking to our friend Varg very recently, he uh, he has something to say about our podcast, right? Uh, He definitely does. I know he does. Yeah. And Varg Vikern is... um, Let's see what he thinks of Lords of Chaos, because Lords of Chaos came out about last week. Which is that... A movie based on a book that you read as a boy, and, and it's based on his, there's his story. You know that Varg's story, yeah, but not, uh, not history. No, like, no, not but his story. Yeah, about how yeah. he uh, murdered or how dead shot himself, and then he killed Arseth, uh, and um, he, and the movie, and yeah, and Macaulay Culkin plays Arseth, who he kills. <laughs> you know what I loved about th- you know what I loved about it though. Wait, is it Macaulay or his brother? Oh, no, Macaulay Culkin's brother. Okay. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I said that. Did, did I? you? Yeah, maybe. No, you know, Rory Culkin. It looks exactly like him. So, but the, you know, you know what I thought was funny though is that like, well, to to mesh with what Ross told me, Ross told me that Varg reviewed it and he didn't like it because he's like, Arseth was a man. He didn't. He didn't just. Just give up like a bitch and let me stab him. He actually fought for his life. <laughs> I want people to know it was a fight. I'm not just some murder. It's like, dude, it okay, was pretty fucking Bart. accurate. You're a bunch of spoiled little bitches in high school who wanted attention by burning church, you know? But it, so maybe it is black metal too. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so but the, but what I thought was funny is that considering Rory Culkin is playing Arseth and, you know, Varg kind of contacts him like, all right, open your door. I was hoping that it would go in that Culkin tradition and just, you know, instead of like immediately getting killed, just like paint cans attacking yeah, him and booby yeah, traps, m- uh, marbles on the yeah. floor and banana Ho- peels and home shit. alone in Sweden. You know? that, yeah, that, so, but it didn't turn out that it way. Did, it didn't turn out that way. But I love the movie because it showed. It actually did show how much of a little bitch Varg is. It really did. Good, because 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 he they captured his essence. But I felt bad for him because he was like me. He 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 was a fan of mayhem, and they just didn't let him fit in. 
And sometimes when that happened to me, I wanted to burn some churches down. Sure, stab a few people. Yeah, like, yeah. why not? You know, I mean, so it's good exercise. Yeah, so exactly that, right. So that movie, uh, I don't know. One out of ten. One out of ten, I'd give it maybe a six. Oh, because, really? Because worse I, than Deathgasm. Yeah, because Deathgasm like makes you laugh your ass off, and it's crazy. And and Lord of the Cast, like I already know the fucking story. You know, sure. it's been told so many times, and. But it was a great, it was a good portrayal of it. I, I liked it. I, you know, I don't know. So, uh, yeah. And, 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 you know, a lot of people don't want to, the, the, the thing, too, that it clears up a lot for a lot of metalheads that they don't want to accept. You know how we've talked about before about how music used to be a little bit more mystical back in the day when you didn't know somebody's background? You know, I think I mentioned before about how I was talking about, like, something legendary like David Bowie or, say, Prince. Just using, for example, sure, Louis. people would get... Yeah, or Lou Reed. It's like, yeah, like when I listen to Velvet Underground, there isn't a lot of information about Lou Reed. So I think that still, that mysticism still stays with Velvet Underground, where like if somebody was like, yo, man, if you had to, you know, relive a moment in life, I would love to be like hanging out with fucking Andy Warhol and Vel- not Andy Warhol, but Velvet Underground. How about Iggy Pop? <coughs> yeah, how about Iggy Pop? No. <clears throat> Phil says no. No, I, I would love to hang out with fucking, you know, uh, Velvet Underground on a, on some heroin binge in some artsy fucking apartment writing music with them. They would that like on different instruments. That's fucking like cool as fuck. You know, in New York, New York's such a great city. So, <clears throat> you know, when people thought about something like David Bowie or Prince, they're like, all you got was the album cover mm-hmm. and what you heard by mouth. So you're like, man, this guy's a real fucking alien. This guy's a real weirdo. Like, he's he, but he's amazing at you know, like he's from out of this fucking universe. It had this kind of mysticism, and that's what made black metal and that whole satanic panic so controversial. They're like, man, these are these little demons who know this secret little fucking occult world. When it's like, dude, they're in a very socialist-leaning government that pays for their health care, so you don't have to fucking work, and it's a bunch of brats in Norway who got nothing to do. We're so depressed, let's burn some churches down. You that's know? right. I mean, it's pretty much... The same mentality of like seventy sevens and like the murder shack. Sure, you well, know, it's their passion. Yeah, so I mean, it grew into something way better. But uh, I don't know. Like people don't want to accept that. Like yeah, Varg was a little kid who just got. I, yeah, in the movie, the part that made me laugh my ass off, like Arseth, the first scene that Varg is in, he doesn't accept fucking uh, uh, Varg because he walks up to him with a metal fist. He's like, I really like Mayhem. They're my favorite band. And, and Rory Culkin, you know, Arseth, he just points at his scorpions patch on his medalist. He's like, he points at it, and then he flicks him off. Nice. Like, You're a fucking poser. He keeps using that. Arseth keeps you poser is his favorite fucking word. Nice. So you'll love it, Ross. <laughs> but anyways, I don't know. Whatever. So despite the movie, we here at Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing actually really like the scorpions. I hate the scorpions. What? Oh, my God. They, no, and you know All what? Right. I love the Scorpions, but isn't that one of the bands that you got sick of hearing those three good songs? You know, uh, dude, Winds what, of what, Change, Winds of Change, Rock You Like a Hurricane, and what else? There's that th- other one. What what is it? Um, uh, I don't know. I'm sure there's another one, but they're pretty good, dude. Listen Would you to rather the listen zoo. to Scorpions than AZDs? Probably, because I don't know as much Scorpions. Oh, so so you're not sick of them yet? Yeah. That, right. Give it time. Yeah. Give it time. I say no comment. That Ross hates scorpions. ACDC. I'll say I have to say ACDC. Okay. All right. Ross says ACDC. You know, you know, one of the funniest aspects too about that movie right. is the guy who's playing Varg has like the highest pitch, like quagmire laugh. Like it reminds me of Kelly's dad. How does so it sound? They, they like they're burning a tree down. He's like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, whole movie. Great. Like that whole movie. <laughs> like if they if they made sound effects for that movie, that would be it. I don't I don't know if they picked the wrong actor or maybe Varg really does laugh that way. That's maybe that's why that's he's perfect. mad. Maybe that's why he's mad. He's like, "No, I, I have, I have never had laughter in my life." No. Let's find out. Right. So, we'll talk so. to Varg soon. We're going to talk to Varg soon. Yeah. And his philosophy and his view on the world on the next episode. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> so.
All right. Get fucked up, dude.